Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode, installment of the dynamics of good and evil. I am the Game Master, Brett the Wiz, and today we have another adventure with Talak the Wabbit Paladin, Rania the Halfling Druid, Dashkin the Barbarous Dragonborn, Bundle the Tabaxi Ranger, and Mephisto Bard Feliana, as they finally yeah. met with the powers behind the Veiled Keep. Having sated some creature comforts in the care of Dirk, the hospitality manager of the Fey Keep, the company finally met with Isley, the high priestess of the Narthen Fey. After a drawn up discussion, Bundle and Fell made a bargain for the eventual release of the Contessa to be ter determined soon after. The Contessa had mysteriously vanished toward the beginning of the Dynamics Adventures near the small village of Trut. Now, then the party made their way back to Dirk's hospitality room where they ran into the previously mentioned Contessa, of which Bundle was sort of happy to see. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, that's putting it lightly. Sort of, quote unquote, asterisk. <laughs> I thought he was overjoyed. I don't know. And afterwards, <laughs> the crew eventually settled back into hospitality mode. Learning about chess and orange bread and sauna time until eventually a tan faced red haired elf knocked at the hospitality wing's door and said the simple words, I'm the negotiator. And that is where we're going to pick up. So, the crew. Yeah, to find the right jam. Yeah. I am so professional. DJ Brett the Wiz. I mean, you are professional mm -hmm. because you try mm -hmm. to find us the best uh, the best of jams. Yeah. DJ mm -hmm. the Wiz. Yes, yeah, so. We love you, DM. We love you this much. I don't even know if anything's playing. Not yet. Well, oh. damn it, they missed that too. I was being cute. Anyone else hear music? No. Yes, I do. I mean, I hear music. Huh. I don't. Should we, should we not? I'll reload. Yeah, everyone try refreshing. Alright. Including the GM, apparently. Jeebus. This is nutty. So Here professional. I have, to, I have more editing to do. Uh, I got it. Welcome to the dynamics of technical difficulties. <laughs> hey, hey. Even uh, Critical Role had the technical difficulties in the beginning. Uh, I'm still not getting music okay. after I refreshed. I did. Okay, now, now I'm not getting music. Why am I getting music? Oh, there it goes. Now, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I don't hear music. Refresh your page. Which one? Your the roll twenty page you have open at the moment. But did Drawers have wings this whole time? No, they had an expansive tail though. Mm. In the little picture he apparently has wings. Yeah, it's just a cape, just a very very fancy cape. Okay, okay. He that goes sideways. I both. Alrighty. <laughs> Are we ready to negotiate? I don't know. Are you? I am. I assume we're all assembled. Bundle's still sulking. <laughs> Come on, Bundle. So yeah, there was... Daily four hours of <laughs> there was a bronzed elf standing at the entrance, holding like a little iron helmet. 
Uh, an iron and wood shellacked helmet with a tight, firm goatee on his face and this shock of red hair. About, uh, just short of shoulder length. Uh, very trim, like a... like a early talkies type actor, very thin mustache. And, uh, little, like, penciled on down his chin. But he's, he's ludicrously tanned and very fair at the same time. So he just enters in and is like, I assume I'm going to negotiate with you. Uh, sounds about right. I was told to meet with a bundle of arrows and a Feliana particularly. I'm here. He says as he's in the back, still, still fidgeting with one of his guys, trying to not look too pissed off. I'm here. Well, slightly waves. Hmm. Good. Waves a hand, and a gnome walks over with a little uh, padded stool and sits it over by the seating area and just, like, just takes a seat, pulls out like a like a a feather wheel and just gives it a light brush on the cushion and then sits down it's like hmm. so you we promptly met you with uh the high priestess you know her time is very valuable yet we still managed to get you some time in you managed to make a good enough impression and uh, i guess we're going to discuss the further formalities of your your duties once you leave the Veiled Keep. <sighs> I also hope you guys have a easier route out of here for us to take. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Sorry about that, DC. What happened? Uh, Dash was just basically asking, do you guys have an easier route for us to traverse to get out of here when we do this? <laughs> Yes, yes, of course, of course. Huh. All right. Out of character, how do you feel about being? Sh I didn't catch that, and I'm moving on. Got that. So he just call me. Wait, is is bundle? Over in the area, or is he? He's still over by himself. He's walked over by now, uh, hands in his pockets, looking perturbed, but he's ready to get st get this, this talk started. Hmm. Mm, yes. Now, so basically, what I'm here to do is to finalize the details of your interactions with the High Priestess, in in particular the deal we have hammered out regarding your diplomatic relations with the Narthen, with, with, uh, with an emphasis on the Southern uh, forts in particular, like we, I know she gets a little uh, over-enthusiastic about uh, spreading her influence to all of the, uh, the forts of the royal seats, but uh, we need to focus on the southern region forts uh, because we've we we are in the northern hemisphere. We we've done what we can with the northern uh, the northern forts, but uh, what we really need you to focus on is the southern. If I'm you not, said. I'm personally okay with that since that sounds like it's closer to Redport, which. I kind of want to go there eventually, so... If I may, what necessarily is the problem with the Southern Forge? Why are they not cooperating? No, it's not that they're not cooperating, it's just we've had no opportunity to get down there. See, the, there is a different, uh, I guess you would say, breed of elf that populates the Southern. To oh, really? go. <laughs> I almost did a joke, but I'm not going to. Uh, let me guess, less willing to cooperate? No, it's just we haven't renegotiated the treaty with the, uh... 
with what we call them the Crystal Elves of sorts. They, uh, they are very, very much more materialistic than we are. We're more, as you, I guess, have understood by now, service-based. And, uh, uh, you have to earn your respect around here. But right now, uh, they very much have joined the almost consuming culture of the rest of the humanoids. And, yes, we're just looking to expand influence a little bit. No problem so far, just... We haven't had the opportunity, after all. We are stuck between a mountain, a river, and uh, doom, so... All the better to get a better foothold, I see. So, you, what you're saying is we're stuck between hell and hell. Mm -hmm. I was trying to reference the underpass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say it wasn't. Well, it was pretty bad, but it wasn't terrible. Dash again, he shrugs. Arnia looks over at Felion on his leg. Yeah, I guess he. <laughs> yeah. he attempts to read that. Like, huh? Okay. Yeah, it, Dash was just trying to make a was just trying to make a dumb joke about Doom in the underpass. Mm, yeah. Yes. Oh, by the way, he didn't introduce himself. The uh, uh, Dirk's like dirt. Dirk's like, tall red, introduce yourself to the fine people. It's like, oh, yes, yes. Uh, my name is Tall Red, Tall Red Mercier. I am the head negotiator and uh, veteran of the uh, scouting parties we sent along to the Northern Forts. Good to, be, good to meet you. Dash, you can up the fifth trail. Mm hmm. Uh, bundle, bundle of arrows of the hidden oasis clan. Feliana Tadaro. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Uh, I'm Alex Nova. Please meet you. Hmm. Paladin. Yes, yes. Of course. Run your frost phone. Okay, Cody Windfall. Yeah. That was out of character. That, that was out of character. Ah, oh, that's not the name I received from the High Priestess, but oh well, whatever floats. Yeah, I believe whatever body floats the service is the uh, colloquial, I but... Uh, so, you two, points to Fell and Bundle, you two have uh, volunteered yourselves as emissaries for this particular okay. mission, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Correct. Excellent. We'll get that final formality out. We'll get some of the final formalities hammered out right now. And he digs into his uniform and pulls out a an ebony and purple rod that's shaped sh sort of like a like the corner of like a bed frame, like a bed post. And it has this like cylinder on one end and just a normal like square square rectangular shaft he's holding on to the mm, yes uh, okay now I need both of yours left arms bundle yeah. just kind of used to this sort of thing dealing with elves I suppose well no he's never dealt with elves I don't think in, in a formal matter but he does so I'll extend her left arm. Mm, thank you. And he starts just rotating the the rod of in a in an elliptical manner, like figure eight style. And then he finally just like snaps it down, and it and it actually embeds itself in your elbow bundle. And it's like, Tap! Mm. and mm. as it sits there, there is a sort of like. A, an indigo tattoo of a root spreading down your left arm from your elbow all the way down to your wrist and it just looks like looks like tree roots or plant roots just extending down your arm in a purplish sort of hazy manner until he just like snaps it off and it stops just before it reaches like the end of your wrist like all right check one and if I may, Feliana... if I may what is exactly is this for Oh, this is the signifier. Basically, uh, I believe uh, the humanoids use signet rings often to communicate, uh, like, 
high esteems and such. This is the, the high priestess's personal uh, signifier. Oh. What I miss? Uh, they just explained what the marks and merit were. Okay. And he does the same for Fell. Snapping motion extends into the elbow, down to your wrist, pulls it off. Uh, there we go. And we are going to need. Basically, we're going to divulge what you're going to be looking for. So, your current destinations. You, you, you can. Well, hang on. There is one destination we do need you to check out. We we haven't been able to quite keep in contact with Fort Merito, up near the mountains, just south of the jungle. Uh, if you guys could make that a destination eventually as well, that would be great. But currently, your primary objectives are going to be Fort Pitt, down by the Deserto, Fort Lippy, uh, alongside the Spindlewood, and Fort Chemtree, also on the opposing end of the Deserto. It's, uh... Does... Does Dashigan have the general layout of the land memorized? Like, if you were to look at a map, would he have that memorized by now? Mmm... Basically, could he recall the map we are currently looking at? I mean, you could probably ask before you leave if they have a map. Well, no, because I want I, I'm wanting him to like say Fort him in character say Fort Lippy sounds like it'd be the closest. Hmm. It would be in their best interest. I think that would be a history map. check from Dash. Okay, let me roll that then. It would be the... Not no. It would be their best interest to give us a map so that we do not get lost and uh, get their... Still, uh, this is all at the moment out of character information, so... Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, you you think I know. It's like, like... I remember they mentioned a fort somewhere in my adventures along with Fell, but they... I can't remember which, I think, I think you do remember, it was Fort Lippy was the closest to you at the time when you were heading through the Marsh of Swam. Okay. Like, I just remember, you remember someone mentioning it was the closest to you at that time when you left the caravan. Alrighty. You set up on your own, but yeah, he's like, yes, uh, check in on Fort Merito, but otherwise it's going to be Fort Lippy, Fort Chemtree, and Fort... Pit? In Fort Pit, yes. Those are going to be the four you're going to focus on. Dreadgrave, Nagrams, and uh, <laughs> the uh, the uh, Hollow Keep, as we call it. The uh, Contess, the unfortunate Contessa's Keep. Uh, we're keeping a good eye on that one, if you could say you should think. Uh, but yes, you're going to introduce yourselves as emissaries of High Priestess Isley of the Veiled Keep. The, the Narthen... High Elves, and the, actually the High Woods. You're gonna present yourselves as emissaries of High Priestess Isley Highwood. Isley Highwood. Uh, can you... I'm not sure if we have that already, but can you spell it out? Indeed. It will be spelled in traditional Elvish. High Priestess Isley Highwood. And if preferably try and make an appointment with the current fort overseer. There might be a captain of the guard, or sometimes even a seated, uh, a seated lord, a uh, an earl or a count, and introduce yourselves and open up relations. Just mention how we are open to diplomatic relations. We can provide trade and uh, ranger capabilities, and yes. Uh, have any of you ever had diplomatic uh, experience in your past? Bundle just shakes his head no. Ronya looks away. I do. Hmm. Where, where, was your, where was your internship of study? Um, well, it's not exactly, it's not exactly, um, how can I say this? I wasn't an emissary per se, but I did, uh, but I was in charge of booking many, uh, uh, many shows and performances for my family. 
Mm, Monsieur more of the of the bard of the bardic uh, diplomacy rather than the actual intercontinental international relations. Okay. Yes. Um, basically, you just to think more big, big picture. And if so, we can uh, leave you with a manual or perhaps a uh, brochure to assist with the basics of what you're going to cover. Um, mm -hmm. we just that might not be a bad idea. Yes, Never yes. Uh, Dirk's looking anxiously over the corner like... Ooh. Ooh. Can I inside check that? Sure. Just try to get an idea of why he's anxious. Insight, insight. There you are, insight. God, my roll sucked tonight. Is, yeah, is he having a... Is he having an anxiety I try insight. You, you okay over there, Dirk? Anxious smile. Uh, I'm sorry, I focus on me. Uh, it says... It says right, tall sorry. Red. He's like, uh, yes. Um, so basically you're going to open up relations. Just make sure there's... That open and willing to fay involvement at all. We're trying to get past that that racial exclusiveness that the nations of of humanoids seem so keen on including and brumming into their children. But yes, we're going to need. Uh, we we will perhaps send with you a scroll system where you can give them a stamp sort of system. Where you, if they need to contact us, they will have basically a direct line, a direct uh, sort of communication with them. We will nice. hand those out to you since you're going to be one, two, three. You will need four of them, and you just need to give one to each of them and give them the rundown as rundown in the brochure that we are open for relations. We are hoping to expand boundaries of sorts in terms of trade, diplomacy. Perhaps even we can swap histories and libraries and resources. It's, it's something we do. We've been very, very isolationist as recently, and we decided it's, and the High Priestess especially, has been pushing for a more outward-facing uh, policy. It does seem like a very, uh... You are extremely quiet. Oh. I got it. Uh, yeah, turn myself up. Mm -hmm. Uh, whoa, I'm maxed out. Is um, your mic, can your mic move? It's in front of my face. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess it's better, but, yeah, I don't know what this is. Um, well, Hopefully it's not dying. It better not be, it's my headset. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Try fiddling with it. I'm, I am, but, um, if you can still he hear me, better. I'm just gonna say that this is a... Uh, a very grand thing to do if you've been so isolated. How many times have there been uh, open negotiations with the other forts? The other forts? Only once. There was a brief period about... How long was it? it was... Uh, let me think on this. Dirk's just anxious again. Like, I know, I know, I know. It's like, yes, Dirk, I know, but I don't need your assistance. Poor Dirk. I think it was 92 cycles ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Months? Ye years? 92 years? Yes. Huh. Well, it wasn't too long ago. <sighs> also has the... What? Would the people who were in power back then even still be alive today? Well, so far as we know, the royal family hasn't changed too greatly, aside from the uh, slight progression of actually electing an Kokra as crown prince of the realm, which is something we didn't actually expect from the, the humanoids, but it, it happened, so there's that. Why, why would that be a progression? You were cutting out for me. Schmidt. Mm -hmm. I I heard him fine. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, yeah. Technical difficulties. Yeah, Dash would already ask why would that be a progression? Showing off his foreignness. Because the humanoids like to emphasize the human 
aspect of the. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I get it now. Like the, most. the the ones they've close most closely associated with for the past uh, couple centuries have been the dwarves, because they share their equal amounts of stubbornness and uh, hot headedness. I should think. Wonder if that's why my tribe wasn't very open to people other than our own. And actually, it's only been recently we've had to interact with those of the line of the Taldorel, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't can, need can you repeat that? <laughs> uh, basically, he's pointing out how demonkin are a very recent occurrence in history. Like, the first demonkin, recorded demonkin only appeared mm -hmm. about 100, 150 years ago oh, in the region. Really yeah, and the comparison of this... Conan has been active for um, for just short of a millennium. That's fairly recent. Yeah. And they tend to spread like wildfire, as I remember. Uh, well, I do know that you guys have have uh, fellow fellow elves in prison at these different forts. Have there has there been any form of communication? Oh yes, the the humans haven't quite mastered the nullification of message magic. So we still, we keep in contact with them, but you know, they they miss the, the homes. They've been stuck away for some cases almost two centuries, so it's just something they want to come back here. I get that feeling. I can understand why God. they've been back. Voice fucking died out there, Jesus. <laughs> you right, guys? Uh, yeah. Bundle just says that for humans to hold elves that long, that seems a bit, um... A little bit of on the research. Considering necessary. that... Necessary. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Bundle just says that we... He feels that the situation with humans holding elves for that long, that seems uncanny because humans don't even live remotely long as elves do. It almost sounds like they... I feel like the only way you'd ever want to hold someone that long, if they live that long, is if you held one hell of a grudge against them. I mean, no. unless they pass the torch somehow. Like, Even then, like it's uh, like maybe they just think it's a tradition to uh, to hold uh, hold outs for so long. Like, run, right, your, run your squints. How long ago was that uh, that time when they would brag about taking mortals captive? Uh, it was seven? just short of two centuries ago. I maybe. I may be cracking down on that since I may have mentioned a, a farther time, years, uh, two, last session, but uh, I'm cracking down. It's like it was just short of two centuries ago. Okay. Interesting. So that could fall in line. That could very much fall in line with uh, why they're being captive for so long. That wouldn't make sense, but to have such thinking nowadays, that's, that's a bit of. Talk, talk about living in the past. Perhaps it's not so much the past for them. Perhaps there are some who are still captive by the Fae who are distant relatives of theirs yet. That is a good question. Do you still hold captives? Granted, the probably the actual captive that was here is probably long since passed, but any of their family? Oh no. No, no. Um, this is just making humans sound like assholes to me. I guess that's a word for us, but yes. So we will uh, ha get you some uh, slight reading materials. Uh, you are fluent in uh, the Elvish dialect, correct? Uh, Bundle is, but yeah, only two of us fortunately. are. I believe I might have to teach you a, a little thing or two. He says he looks over the fell. She laughs a bit. <laughs> I believe so. Yeah, I apologize. We don't do what the, uh, the humans have so uh, 
uh, arrogantly labeled the common tongue. We don't, uh, haven't quite translated some of the older texts into that. Maybe uh, Infernal? No. Alright. You just mentioned how they are a fairly recent development. Yeah. Forgot, sorry. You're probably like third or fourth generation in, uh, tiefling here in the realm. Best I have outside of Draconic and Common is uh, Orcish, so. Just gonna give it a real rough language, language as it is. Bundle says as he thinks about some of the, a few orcs he's met in his past. Well, my tribe had to deal with orcs for a while. Our lands were pretty close to one another. Hmm. Fair enough, I suppose. Yeah. My father used to work alongside the dwarves. We normally get them a uh, half pot supply of food from the farm, so we get our uh, farming tools repaired. And uh, during my time in the city, I learned to speak goblin. Hmm. Well, it looks like we'll have a gambit of whatever we'll need to whatever we'll need in case we need to talk to several different races. But um, as far as this treaty goes, is there any other information that you can give us about what we might be getting into? Um, let me see. Well, since the conflict, there hasn't been too much... Like, back then, I would suppose the humans were so arrogant that their... But since their lifespans are so short, I don't think you'll be dealing with any of the... Too headstrong heads of, uh... Heads of fortitude. In the Southern, in particular. I remember... One came back, uh, noting distaste of some... This mangy, rundown fort by on the outskirts of the des the deserto, but it, we haven't heard about that in a while, so we assume they would have improved it by now. But yeah, it's just humanoids. You've dealt with humanoids most of your lives, I assume. I assume you kind of know what you're dealing with, the whole variety thing. But it's, yeah. it's a soldierly thing. They yeah. they built like a small keep into, I guess, a city state within a city state. These humanoids are strange in the way they structure, rather than just holding it all in one big place and considering that their property, they just spread out like like lice. And it's ah. There's a reason they call a bad gathering of humans an infestation. It's probably as a slight joke. Run your nut, run your laughs. <laughs> Amir would be giving me so much shit right now if he was here for this. <laughs> no, was there, uh, Peter would. <laughs> But yes, um, yeah, first, yeah, just, uh, we will get you your documentation, uh, you have your, your mark, it, as soon as you complete your duty or you retire from service, we will, it will disappear, it's, uh, bound by word and honor, it's not, it's not, like, physiologically impairing, this shouldn't be, we haven't, we haven't tested one on Inferno type, Understood. sorry. <laughs> Run your reason's hand. Yes, uh, young uh, Kadia. Rania. It's Elvin. You should know what that means. And there's Isaac. Yes. Good. <clears throat> uh, my question was uh, if these um, marks are simply just marks to uh, uh, for others to recognize them, or if uh, they have some other properties. We are hoping you'll uh, be able to hand, make your own, like, perhaps pamphlets, do a little homework on your own to establish base relations, like ask them to recognize the mark, like leave that with them, some documentation, along with the stamps, the stamp stationery, and just ask them to perhaps memorize that specific hue and, uh, and pattern to recognize that they will be dealing with, uh, with Highwood Elves. It's basically mm. like, uh, I guess, be our sort of banner. Mm. That that makes sense. It does. Well, My then... question was that I've seen some of your own, some of your own people, with ears tattooed onto their forehead. I was wondering if these tattoos work the same as that. Oh, those are soldierly tattoos. Those have an entire different backstory. Alright, so they have no, uh, there's no magical, uh, 
scrying that uh, these tattoos entail. Thanks for a moment. Mm. I mean, I'd assume it at least keeping track of our whereabouts. But yes, uh, it's got basic tracking, but we don't really see the point of making you into war fodder yet. It's just we want to know progress. Fifteen. Uh, what? What are you rolling insight for? I'm rolling insight on him. On He's what particular? Through. On whether or not it's just uh, it has a base base tracking spell on them or not. Unless there's more to them. No, the way you read it, it is, as he's relaying it, it's, uh, it's basically like a waypoint marker as well as a signifier for, uh, their clan. At least that's what his mind is reading on you. Alright. Well then, I take it that once we get, get this operation started, we'll be recording this information back to you, or... Oh no, we will... Ahead? Hopefully... The uh, oh. lines of communication will start, will be opened, and that will be the end of it. If we need you to follow up, we will be in contact. There is a, uh, there is also a, uh, uh. we will hand you a sixth stamp. That will be your personal messaging with us. But it's only, it, it will start out as one way where we will send you things, but you will not be able to respond unless we, unless the, the, the color will actually change on the parchment. Yeah, the high, the high priestess did say she wanted us to sh physically check back in here at the keep every six months, didn't she? Oh or, yes, yes, yes. Or yes, am yes, I yes, remembering yes, yes. wrong? Yes, uh, at least the, at least these two must. Uh, you, you are optional. Uh, I go where Veliana goes. So understood. Now, yes, you two will have to check in bi yearly. That's what it is. Yearly. Yearly, that's what it is. And, uh, yes. Just keep the good work until we retire you or something drastic happens. But that's so wait, every, every six months or every year? I'm kind of confused now. We prefer at least twice a year, but it has to be at least yearly. Okay. Thank okay. you. So, so, optionally bi-yearly, but, uh, but it has to be at least... Yearly. We will make exceptions if perhaps the humanoids imprison you for whatever reason or something, but uh, that's why we give you your own personal communication system. You get an emergency, like, yo, we can't come to the, the scrying crystal right now, but we can give you this response in form of text and parchment. And we have other ways of communicating as well, so one way or the other, you, you will get in touch. Phil, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Why? Sorry, I had to fix okay, it. Okay, like, it sounded like you were fixing a wire full of jelly beans. That's exactly what I was fixing, because that is my mic. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yes, that seems to be it. Uh, yes, Dirk. Yes, I know, Dirk. He it flashes a... just exhausted look at Dirk, who's still like anxiously moving back and forth. He's like, you can bring out the brochures now, Dirk. I'm leaving. Like, <laughs> And he just disappears back into his beads and comes out with a, a couple of mildly like, still thin-ish tomes. Yes. No? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. And so he pulls out these uh, things about as thick as a as a double CD. Yeah. Like, and it's like, like, yes. So yes. So um, thank you, Tall Red. He said, like, yes, yes. Uh, so uh, why don't you just go back to your teaching job already? It's just getting ridiculous <laughs> how you have these breakouts. Like, hush you. He's like, okay, so uh, this is the uh, diplomacy, intermediate diplomacy for international relations, uh, third edition. 
Uh, actually, with a preface by the High Priestess herself. And uh, you're going to want to give us a, a, a nice thorough read. We prefer you read it cover to cover, but really the basics are covered by the halfway point. Um, but it has like a helpful uh, ideals and like examples. And uh, there is a worksheet installed in the, in the center that you will uh, uh, you use your uh, marking crystal to put upon. And then you can, uh, yeah, you can uh, keep taking it. Keep uh, taking those worksheets. They alter uh, at each uh, step you increase. Uh, you have no idea how much it is to find a vintage por a portion of these for under, like, oh, under, like, uh, 12 years of service. It's it's, it's da quite the deal. But. Dash, Dash is going to speak up. What's a worksheet? Runya is currently looking up at uh, Eliana's uh, um, uh, pamphlet and kind of curiously... Hmm. Yeah. I imagine Dash has no idea pr pr what proper school is, so... And as for Bundle, he's actually thumbing through the actual text as the guy is talking. Still listening, but seeing if anything catches his, his eye in particular. Fel is going to wait until he's finished talking, and then she's gonna... <laughs> yeah, I imagine um... Fel's mostly focusing on Dirk, because he's... Your, your best source at the moment, since he yeah. is speaking <laughs> rudimentary common. So, yeah, um, so uh, your spell sheets, your your spell works do increase with uh, with each intermediate level, all the way up to professional, bit uh, international professional. That would be the sixth level of uh, aptitude, and yeah, but they both start up at uh pretty basic and move on from there and yeah just uh huh the more i think about it wait a minute looks at fell you're not very good with the elvish are you i don't know how to read or speak it that would be my department says bundle as he closes the book points to him hmm. and yeah that's fun to read him. you know I could probably get my hand on a trans on a either a translation charm or a a crystal that contains that. If you give me perhaps a week, I can send it to you if you wish. If you pay up front for at least the, the charge of that, it can I can get it for probably up to well probably six charges, one for each section. Uh, what exactly oh. would she pay? Yeah, that was going to be my next question. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You have your own service to do. Um. Hmm. Well, I could fancy a trade for magical charged item for a magical charged item, or something like that. Or you can just, uh, I don't know, do me a small favor when you head out. What's the favor? Uh. Well, it involves fiat. Hmm. Okay, oh. Ian's a nice guy, so I'm yeah. already all ears for this. Even though I don't Did have ears. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Dash doesn't have ears. He's Do you a... not see his art? His Dragonborn. He doesn't. Does he have, he doesn't... I don't know Dragonborn stuff. That's no. how. No, they have like little ear, ear, no, well, no, Canals. ear sockets where they tip, where they typically hear. So yes, they like don't have. They don't have quote, ears, but they have areas where they can hear through. Like mm. cockatiels. Yeah. Cool. But, anywho, uh, Bundle just raises a brow. Well, I did do, I did have good conversations with Fian. He was a very nice elf. Um, he did do, sort of... do us kind of a solid, so. Indeed. Yeah, I need you to give him a kick in the ass to go, uh, <laughs> To uh, oh. go to the deserto and and get me my goddamn camels. The camels? What would you have camels? to do with camels? Candles or camels? I'm pretty sure it's camels. Or, or is it? Is it? Can I hope it's camels, but it could be candles. Oh, candles. He, What's so special about? He promised me a set of antique candles. From... Okay, I was hearing camels. Yeah. Antique animal. 
<laughs> a set of antique camels. <laughs> ah. No, okay, no, these but... are these are like like artifacts. Like these were lost years years ago in the conflict, and he said he would be right back with them in just a jiffy. But then he disappeared, never came back. Hmm. Well, maybe he just hasn't made it back yet. Uh, I don't know about that, Rania. We'll we'll look into it when whenever I imagine we swing by treads and. Unless there's a way for us to pass the mountains to the south without having to go through the underpass, I imagine we're going to be heading around and heading to try to, yeah, be, on, to be on our mission. Yeah, I mean, if you can get that to here by about, like, say before the next six months is up, that would be great, but, uh... Oh, we can do that. But it all looks up by the end of the year, too. Uh, I just want it in time... F it would be great if I had it in time for that, uh... Special uh, uh, water festival we're having in a uh, about seven months time, but uh, so yeah. You candle for a water festival? It's a, it's a mood. Yeah. I mean, I suppose, but yeah. Usually uh, for water festivals, when you have like some sort of light, <laughs> you just uh, no, 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 never mind, never mind. Water festival, drowning man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But I would. Uh, but um, uh, yes, uh, of course we can. Uh, we can do this. Tall Red is actually like you, dumbass. It's not the water festival. It's the star festival. Like, <gasps> oh yeah, the water festival is next month. Okay, yeah, the star festival. Uh okay. but yeah, the star festival. Sense. I need star him festival? to get his get his ace down to the deserto and uh, find that caravan master who sells those special darn candles. And that Whoa. would be most. Excellent. Well, I'm sure. And we I would appreciate you and not impress you into service as a result. Yeah. Well, we do have some business down in Trut at some point anyway, so. But what else do we? Wait, what else do we have in Trut? Talek has his gauntlets that he needs to take care of. Or well, oh, wait, was it your gauntlet or his shield? Talek, uh, it was my arm shield, which I should have asked her to remove the shield and replace it with the Ebony shield instead. <laughs> I just oh, her. you're gonna give you're gonna give her a heart attack. <laughs> that, that woman, she doesn't deserve all this pain. And, <laughs> oh, don't worry. She I'm don't... pretty sure once we could get our hands on the holy eye, on the holy ingots, and the eye that I marked in the mouth inside, I'm pretty sure that would make her day. Yeah, yeah. if Talik brings that iron up in character dashing, it's just gonna be like, Talik, we can just buy you iron. We don't need to go all the way around to mine the iron. But it's special iron. How is it special? I don't know. Not the, not the iron, the, the iron by the underpass, it's just regular ass iron. Oh, that one. Hello. We do need to go over to, um, like, by the underpass anyway to get a cart. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway. But, uh... Bumble's gonna go ahead and take one of those books that he, that, uh... Dirk had passed out and put it in his pack. And ask, is there anything else you can think of that we might need? To Tall Red or to Dirk? To Dirk. Well, aside from her, uh... From her information crystal, I don't think so. Um, oh, I could give you these uh, these neat little uh, accessories to help you look all prim and proper as dignitaries. Mm -hmm. Dash okay. looks himself over and looks up. I don't think that's happening. With he, me. he ducks behind the counter and pulls out like a pair of just attachable epaulets with a monocle attached. <gasps> Bundle's actually intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are purple and silver, and the monocle is a square, but it's but it's supposed to fit like a diamond, like points up on your on your eye. Hmm. Bundle tries to fashion one of those as it should be. Oh, you you take them? Yeah. You said you were in tree. You didn't say you walk over and actually take a pair. So yeah, yeah he hands it over you. Fasten it. Uh, t -t 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 what would this be? Lacana. Side of hand. 
You know what? Slide the park on. You know what? Since it deals with balance, acrobatics. Oh. Really? Okay. Interesting. Seventeen. Yeah, it takes a little finagling just because there is like a bit of grit to the side of this thing, and it actually sticks quite well. And you manage to, it gets a bit like caught in your fur. It's like, oh, there we go. It's a bit easier for you more than uh, other fine skins. Yeah, yeah, it looks. Yeah, you look nice and dignified. Uh, aside from my current clothing, but uh, I'm sure we can handle that once we get to a more civil. Well, once we get to an area that actually accepts coin rather than service. Hmm. It, do, no it does look. It does look beautiful, though. I've heard it just improves your charismatic. In, I just can see it. It can. It just. It's already improving your charismatic in, attributes. It gives them. It gives them a plus to charisma, doesn't it? We don't know this yet. Well, <laughs> Bundle's just gonna say, "Well, you have been most helpful." And quite, quite the host, I must say. I definitely enjoy. I have it in either there. epaulette form or cape form. Cape. Wait, mm. cape. Okay. He pulls out a similar, like silvery on one side, dark furred purple on the other side, like. How do you spell cape epaulette? And... Epaulettes. Yeah. Yeah. How do you spell it? I, I got it. I got it. I believe it's E P A U L E T T E S. Yes. Alright, thank you. Oh, thank you. You stick right. with the epaulets? The thing is, I got a fat, nice and fashioned army already. I'm just gonna, just gonna kill him and keep, keep it with those. And fellas also stick with the epaulets? I think I might take the I think I might take the Yeah, I was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was about to here. Think, I think, I think a cape would work better on Fel, in my honest opinion. Your honest opinion is much appreciated and very right. <laughs> yeah, the fashion opinion of a dragonborn who wears torn up pants. <laughs> I'm just gonna look hey, you yeah. up and down like, really? <laughs> Teal just, really? Dash just shrug. It, can, we, can we get it, Dash some freaking pants? Like, can, 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 can we take pants. them pants? He does have pants. pants. Can we get some better pants, please? <laughs> can we get this place some shirts? <laughs> <laughs> at least something, at least something fashionable, something that, that matches. That is something that the bundle will bring up if he, if, if uh, uh, Dash is going to be going with them on these. Uh, no, 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 better idea, game. better idea. Uh, instead of like pants, we get Dash again a kilt. No, no, yes, <laughs> yes. no. Imagine you be being in a kilt. That would be so badass. No, I'm not wake. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Bundle will will say this out loud to Dash. Okay, um, Dash, I, I understand that you want to be with Fel like every waking moment, but <laughs> there's something we do have to talk about. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to be here? <laughs> <laughs> Fel looks to Bundle curiously and confused. Like, yeah, what? Dash is just as confused. <laughs> Oh, uh, one, we gotta get you, I don't know, something that's not... I'm trying to think of the best way to say, to say this. What? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> my, my pants? <laughs> that is just so confused. My pants? <laughs> yes. You look like you've been through too many fights, and if we go to a dignitary with like that, how do you think that will look? Yeah, Dash, you kind of look like so, the most bucked out homeless man there is. And Fel kind of like says, oh, he's right, you know, Dash, I didn't want to say it before, but we kind of do have to have, like, do have to get you some new clothes. I need an intervention. I sense a shopping <laughs> episode. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Buddy. Hold on, Fel pulls up your notebook. Dash again. I wanted to tell. <laughs> we need, uh, tell we're gonna do this blue eyed street guy style. Yeah, Dash again. I wanted to tell you, your street, uh, your fashion style is whack. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, indeed. <laughs> Dash will just sigh heavily. Fine, but I refuse to wear a shirt. 
I mean, that goes well with the whole you being as the strong man of the group, but... He, ge he gestures to his tattoos. It's kind of part of my thing, so... I mean, You're not my brand. <laughs> Josh, are you aware of what winter is? Yes. No, I, no, I, no, 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 actually. <laughs> okay, Josh, Josh. I recently learned what uh, snow uh, is. Josh, Josh, yes, we no, need double back! Josh, hang on, what? Josh. I forgot about that. Dax, somebody, you, you remember all that snow that was uh, before I dispelled it? Yeah. yeah. Imagine that for months. All you guys here is just a very quiet and gravelly. <laughs> We're gonna have to get you uh, like some sort of clothes at some. I don't know. I, I, think, I think he could do well with a cape. At least a cloak. Yeah, like, right. at least something to keep cloak, quick, at least... quick, a quick, quick connect clasp, that, that sort of thing. Yeah. 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 Perhaps, like, perhaps, perhaps like a magical, somebody. like a, uh, like magnetic type thing where it just slips in and out, and then when you need it, you just, you just brush like the, the, uh, oh I don't know, like the emblem, and it collapses, and uh, just so you have your hands free or something. I, I don't know. I, you can talk to my sister about that. Yeah, Dash would just face bomb and say, I'll still never understand these cultures, ever. Dash, we just want you to be uh, safe, for, uh, safe from the cold. That's all right, just all right, nature. All right. <laughs> Dash will, reluctant, will reluctantly relent. Well, guys, <laughs> yeah, of all guys, agenda right now, shopping episode in Redport. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> right. I'm going to write that down in my notes. <laughs> but after all of that, Bundle then turned to Dirk and say, uh, and as for you, I want to thank you for all the hospitality that you have shown us. I was very well received, as well as I love my room. He says with the, with the biggest, cheesiest smile on his face. You can roll smile inside on that if you want. You can roll, roll for smile. <laughs> Rolling for smile! I, I I, think soap uh, I don't think he needs to right. roll anything. I mean, it's yeah. <laughs> I would have liked no, the advantage on Dash that. will roll inside because why not? The worst I can get is a one. <laughs> why not? The worst I can get is a. Uh, you know, that's not that bad. <laughs> <sighs> Bundle for the first time in a long time has looks the most. Despite everything that has happened before, before and his, how angry he was, he looks the most relaxed he's ever been in so long. Damn. And, and fall pipes up. Uh, pipes up. Yes, I had an incredibly wonderful stay. Uh, day stay. I haven't felt this. Quote on, uh, I haven't felt this. What's the word? Relax. Comfortable. Comfortable. Alive. <laughs> Alive, yes, that's the word. <laughs> Joy de vivre. Here's a random question, in case we ever have to uh, come back and stay here again. Do you take theme requests? He pauses. <laughs> Pulls out a big blues clues down the but Go on. <laughs> Alright. Well, Do you okay. know... Red Do spiral you know and everything. The... <laughs> you know the arid savanna to the east of here, beyond the uh, Marsh of Swamp. Can I have him roll intelligence? But he has decently good intelligence. If, if it helps, Dash will try to explain the landscape. Which, as the player, I don't know what the landscape I is have like. I've heard of it, but so it's different from the Deserto. Yes, there's act. Uh, it's not sand, it's more... How do I describe this? Gravel? Um, not gravel, no. Like, it's grass, but it's kind of sparse. More grass than dirt. It uh, sounds like you basically want an expanded grass. version of the rustic. Sort of. We have a grass extension theme that we could go with, but... Out of character, I think you're thinking of mountainous lowlands. Am I? I think so. For savannas, yeah. Sounds a bit like the Ozarks. 
Uh, <laughs> sort of, but I was, I was thinking Savannah closer to, to like the Africa Savannah. Ah. Oh, that Savannah. Yeah, that type of Savannah. I could probably do the Australian. Australian Savannah. Yeah. Nice. Dashigan will do his best to describe an African style Savannah. Please do charades. Do I have to roll for this? Mm, wisdom. Wisdom. Oh, it could be worse. Yeah, it could be a one. <laughs> I've never seen us do a performance. You Is describe that... a okay, circus. Okay, so rustic, more arid, uh, big tall grass, like more wild animal sounds. Is that what I'm getting? Yeah. So, uh, so I didn't think it would be this hard to describe ironically, but yeah, um, that's general. That's the environment I'm from, and for me, that's the most healthy feel there is. I want to give um, Dash again a crayon. Okay, looks sounds more it. like I'm just making a sub a sub room of the rustic, but okay. Uh, a sub a sub race sub a room. <laughs> that's <really> yes. <laughs> sorry, if the, sorry if it's too much work. But, uh, but yes, Derek. Uh, Derek, you're you are doing spectacular work, and I have. Uh, uh, she is like the biggest, brightest, most genuine smile that uh, that she has on her face. I have never felt more comfortable, that pampered, uh, pampered in this place since I've uh, in a very, very long time. Yeah, overall, I will say this was a very nice place to stay. Hmm. And just saying, your uh, uh, your, desi your design and uh, uh, design your design is impeccable. I was eaten by a beanbag chair, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if we, if it's at all possible, would it be a good thing to recommend your services to other people that come by here? I wish that were the case, but unfortunately, as you know, the way we typically pay for these is with. Years of service. service. Uh, yeah. That is slightly inconvenient. To I mean, if you, on your travels, want to recommend the... the, uh... ways, maybe we could eventually move into something approaching the uh, more capital-based system, but I mean, what would we do with all those materials? We just, we just stack them in, the, in like the, the walls and just use them as decoration? I don't know. You trade them with other races. Like there well, are other races. Hold on. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. What if you? What if you take payment from? Uh, what if you take like things that you can actively use to improve what you, improve upon what you already have as payment? You know, stuff with utility. If that makes sense. Hmm. Let's think about that. Noted. But is there anything else that we need to do before we set up? There is one elephant in the room I kind of want to still ask about. How do we get out of here that's not the underpass or crossing the river that's and won't kill us? Oh, oh that's simple. We just, uh, we can just dimension door you out. Oh, What's, a dimension? What's a dimension door? Uh, uh, it's a portal of which you, uh... Um, do you guys, can... do you guys know that? In my I... lore, yeah. You've been dimension door a few times. I would, uh, I would have, uh, would I have known this from my studies, uh, studies in Bard College regarding spells and such? Arcana. All right. I'll roll Arcana because I'm not really sure. Damn, you know it. Yeah. You've used it. I figured the Dash would have no fucking idea what a dimension door even is, because barbarian. So. It's fine. Hold up. Do I have the cape? Mm. Oh yeah. Nice. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put on the cape. I'm just gonna write down really, uh, really cool cape uh, gave by Dirk. Mm -hmm. You better do an arcana check on that cape. You better do an identify item check. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, once we get out of here, we, we don't need the item. cape to blow up in her face. I don't know how oh, it would, but, but, <laughs> but if it, if anyone could manage it, yeah. it would be Oh, yeah, we um, also have a qu quite a few other things to identify, but we'll get oh, to that. Oh yeah, Brent, yeah. I uh, wanted to ask, would you allow uh, allow us to use our arcanic focuses for certain spells? 
Uh, because we did have this yeah. conversation before about yeah, in, in place of material cost. Yeah, I don't have to go around gathering stuff like some sort of weird homeless man anymore. The only <laughs> exception is if there's a gold cost listed. That's or fine. maybe, or That's like a revived fine. spell. Absolutely fine. <laughs> but that is amazingly fine. I don't care. But as for a, uh, but as for an exactly costed fifty-five gold, uh, uh, gold emerald circlet that must be placed on your head. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, that's actually a spell. A spell requires an emerald circlet. That's exactly uh, uh, that's an exact amount of gold. Yeah, if you have a focus, you can. With druids, I'm playing more with you need materials because you're using nature-based magic, so you need some materials. <sighs> But there are still spells, if we'll talk about it later, that certain spells that you don't need materials for. Just need to talk to me ahead of time and we can work that out. Yeah. Okay. Communication! Okay, ju <sighs> yeah, just just a question. Is identify one of those spells that needs material components. Uh, did you one side communication? I heard that. Um, <laughs> so... Identify, yeah, you can use your focus. But you can only cast it so many times a day. Yeah, like... <laughs> I mean, the spell slot, obviously. Yeah, like, spell slots. Isn't that a ritual spell, though? It is, but it uh, it is a ritual spell, but I don't maybe, know the thing about ritual spells. Maybe you can only ritual... It doesn't consume a spell slot, but you can only ritual cast it as many times as there are... It, this level of spell slots. Sure. Which in... I have 10 spell slots. It, what, lo what level spell is Identify, though? Identify is a first level spell. I would so, love to continue this conversation around. Yeah, but we, yeah, we yeah, should yeah, probably yeah, move on. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. So continuing. Yeah, yeah, you guys aren't staying. Uh, yeah, so you guys are leaving immediately, I should take it? Uh, uh, what time is it? It's approaching evening, I should think. Right, uh, Tall Red? Tall Red's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. If we were to stay I'll... one more day, would that we? Well, I don't think yeah, we can, can we? He has this earnest glow in his eyes, like, hmm, all right. I mean, we've only been here for one night, and the limit was two nights, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't care if they crack down on me. They... It's you guys are so delightful. You give me compliments. Thank you. But You're yeah, you get one more night, and I can see about the those grass extensions for your. Uh, oh wait, no, you chose the. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, I what, didn't know if you would be able to set that up, so I chose the just common in room. Yeah, I can uh, work on a uh, expanded rustic in about an hour. Oh, all right. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Run to raise his hand. Uh, yeah. yes. Uh, y your name. Rania. Uh, I uh, rustic was the one uh, with like the wooden interior. <coughs> or uh, was that another one? Rustic. Yeah, it was rustic. Okay. Is it possible that I can get my room changed to rustic then? Sure. Fantastic, thank you. And, Fel, you're still going to be staying in the uh, the one that had the library in it, right? Oh, most definitely. It's amazing. And all, and the books are just wonderful. Do you mind if I stop by your room to read a few? Since I can't take them with, out of the room. Not at all. <laughs> Dash can all offer. Dash oh, you offer frisky character. things. Go right ahead. Yeah. What? Well, no! <laughs> no! No! makes it perfectly no, clear. No! No! no Sharing no, intelligence no. is a group oh, you We're beating away him. Do not listen to him. <laughs> he does not speak for the rest of us. There is a reason Bundle and Feliana are the group's voices. Yeah. Phil just has like a big blush on her face. Like, did you think that? It, you, did you think it was me who said that? No, that was Dirk that said that, Dash. No, I, th I thought but Rania asked if he could room with Fel. 
No, I no. asked if I could come along too to read some stuff. Oh, and then we I assumed that uh, we all were doing something weird. It's a regular book I fair just... tonight. <laughs> no, I, I as I thought I heard Ronya ask if you could just straight up room with Bell. No. Okay. No. All right. Yeah, I can. I, I can work I mean, on. I wouldn't say no if she offered, but. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get working on your rustic on your, both your rustic rooms. Um. Uh... Yay. Dash, you're gonna offer Dirk a handshake. Oh. He, he takes it back. It's quite strong and firm, even for do you, I... the Dragonborn. It's like, whoa. Do, do I need to make a strength save? No, but it's like. You're like, uh, better be careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dash will be impressed by this, and Dirk can draw insight on that if he wants to. Dirk winks, and just... Phil will offer a friendly hug. He works out. Yeah, you just wrap your arms around him, like, God damn, the tone, but yeah, it's like, yeah, he, he he's, he's exuding warmth, and just, like, this, this, this dense maple-y perfume. It's Just like, like this guy is amazing. So it turns Dirk. out, turns out Dirk has twenty strength. <laughs> uh, twenty six, but uh, <laughs> what? Is uh, <laughs> roll for it. than I can get as a barbarian. Hey, remember? Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I'll I'll get working on your rustics and uh, yeah. Uh, Tall Red, is there anything you need for them? No, no, I don't need anything from them. It's like, excellent. Um, yeah. Uh... Oh, I also have books on demand out here. If you guys ask, I can make it a common room right here. He claps, the room goes dark, and then the wall is now a bookcase. He's like, yeah, if you guys want books, you guys should just ask me. You don't have any books on animals. Oh. Considering my commons are off as it is, I don't think I'll be able to read many of these. Do you have a? Do you have to kill a manticore? You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. You, you guys almost hear like iron, iron scraping against itself as Dashigan's head just slowly looks to Feliana. Fucking, <laughs> he has the look of PTSD on his face. <laughs> Paul just, just looks to, uh, to Dash like, what are you- Oh, oh shit. Oh, I'm- Fail, fail, fail. Was you there for when he, he talked about the whole manticore thing? I think he, everyone was, yeah. Yeah. Well, not I was asleep. No, it was you who were asleep for something. So I was just I like, remember. oh my god, Dash. I am so sorry. I it's just, fine. I just asked him to kill a manticore because that, that's, it's a really good book. Don't I heard. Say the M -word. I never read. It's fine. It's fine. I'll live. Uh, Sorry. While that's going on. Uh, <laughs> Fail. Bundle will look to tell. What's that guy's name again? T tell something. Tall red. Tall red. Tall red. Oh. Yes, he's going to look to him and say, "I appreciate all the information you get. You gave us, and I'm uh, sure we'll do what we can to uh, rectify." Yeah, it. I, I put it up there. Give me a second. Oh okay. wait, hold up! I found it. There it is. I also typed it. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, Bundle will just cordially thank him for the information that he gave, <laughs> he gave us. And that yep, he will yep, give us yep, yep. Um, I'm glad you can uh, put good use to it and uh, serve our good high priestess. She did treat you most cordially. And uh, if you excuse me, I have a, uh, I have a uh, urge to go do some scything. Have a good one. <laughs> he gives a nod and a bow. Mm-hmm. Can Dash roll insight to figure out what scything meant? Do you know what a scythe is? Yeah, I'm, I want to know like what the context behind that was. Like, is he going to kill some people? Sure. <laughs> God damn my rolls. Oh, okay. <laughs> he kind of he he works off his little stressors. Okay. And I'll just give a courteous bow and uh, bow and say and uh, t uh, tell Tall Red goodbye and thank you. Farewell. And he exits the hospitality and uh, stay safe, everyone. It's uh, quite the world. Just don't have to tell me. us. Nice. Dash says as he rubs his throat. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. She kind of, it's all kind of like, you know, subconsciously scratches her back. Run. He goes over to the bookshelf and looks around for a book about animals. Okay. Uh, the first book you pull out of the shelf is The Daylight House by Magdalene Gavin, a... <laughs> Just a, just a, it's a, it's a white book with black circles on it, like the inverted stars of sorts. Like, huh, that's interesting. Hmm. But you put that in the maybe pile. All right. You also find uh, a book called Mary Mac by Borko Watt, which has the big old smiling face of a hippo on it. Oh, he now knows what a hippo is. Well, while that's happening, Bundle's going to see if he can take Spell aside and say, um, if at all possible, I can teach you a, a few common Elvis, Elvish things to, to say in case we need to, you know, have a, make a good greeting or uh, get, give proper thanks, that sort of thing. That would be wonderful. Seriously, I have no clue. And a speak kit, I just... Yeah, and... Well, we're going to be working as emissaries, so it's going to be very, very necessary. Uh, just uh, do your best to pay attention, and we should, you should be able to pick it up rather right, right, swimmingly. Uh, I will. You were a great, uh, you were in fact a great, a great teacher when teaching um, the uh, the acrobatic ways, at least to the, for, to others. Well, to be fair, that's more of a cat-like talent. He says as he, as he. <laughs> Messes with a coin and still in his hand. And I thought you were about to have him do a backflip. No. As he casually Dude. does a backflip. Backflips back into the bookcase. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? But this is going to be something that I'm not as good at. I'm a very vigorous student when it comes to t- to uh, learning things of of the of other cultures, but teaching something of all. My best. Alright. I'll wait your instructions. So, what kind of role would that be to teach her, teach her the very beginnings and subtle nuances of a, of a language? Uh, that would be intelligence. Okay. You from have to both start of us? by making correct deal. From both of us or just from him? Uh, intelligence from him to relate and then wisdom from fell while that's while that's going on dash is gonna see if there is somehow anything on the biscuit trail in the bookcase considering what he knows about them um uh, run your hands uh dash in the book the big pop-up book of uh many phobias all right, I'll like. I'll roll a wisdom. Dash would just put that book away in a random slot. All right, here we go. That's better, actually. Mm. Mm. We're both shit. The uh, at least it's not terrible, but yeah, it's not, it's great. not terrible. It's, just, it's gonna need some work. <laughs> Well, yeah, so Bundle, you're kind of the thing. Okay, what's what are the big words I know about uh, Faye um, and Elves in general? Like, uh, basically, you say uh, the first thing that pops in your mind, and the only thing that pops in your mind is like, uh, don't condescend. It's the first thing you mind. Like, yeah, don't condescend. Try and speak on equal terms. Uh, uh, don't back down. Uh, don't yeah appear well, appear, shit, appear I resolute say- <laughs> and uh, Bella, you're kind of like okay okay I can do this yes yes do this but when, when he says don't back down I'm just imagine, imagining her writing it, uh, her and her brain well shit I failed <laughs> because that has happened too many times okay, and the best thing I can tell you felt is uh, if don't go in it if, the, if you feel like in your mind that you've already failed, you're already going about it the wrong way. Right. And bundle the other thing you remember is uh, roll another intelligence check. Much better! Oh, motherfucker! Much better. Um, the thing you immediately jumps in your mind like, oh my god, I almost forgot. Calligraphy is super important. Like, like <gasps> the elves are big on their calligraphy. 
Can I give an example? Sure, yeah, you even reproduce a... a perfect, like, uh, salutation, like calligraphy, like big swooping swirls and, uh, like subtle dottings. And it's like, ah, uh, there we go. Like, it's very, very, like, smooth, but, uh, art artisanal, in a way. Oh. Get it back. And don't worry about having to get this right off the get-go. It takes time. Trust right. me. Oh, honey, it takes years. Uh, I'm a quick study. <laughs> the bottle says with a smile. Uh, do I need to... Hold on. Would I have, oh, oh, hold on. What's, would Phil have, uh, have learned how to write in cursive, uh, considering her quote-unquote background? Mm, roll history. Alright, I'll do so. Here we go. Here I go, recalling the past again. Ten. We seem to be rolling a lot of tens tonight. Yeah. You seem yeah. to remember cursive being mentioned and kind of impressing you, but you didn't take to it. Oh, shit. Uh... Would I need to roll something to try and determine whether or not there's somehow any writings on Dashigan's tribe, considering their uh, works with metal? Uh, do we ever maintain if you were literate in any language when it came to literacy, not just fluency? Uh, I imagine he'd only really know how to speak common, and anything beyond like that would know how to read draconic. Yeah, he's he's definitely literate in Draconic, I just, you know. Draconic and, uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ryan's having an easier time with this because most of these books are in Elven, but... Yeah, basically, Fell had the only selection of common books they had, which was about, like, 40 tomes. So, from this library at the moment, I don't see shit. You see one Draconic book. Dashigan will pull that out. Yeah, it's towards the top, too. And... And it's actually a book called On Slaying Drow by Ellis Montblanc. It's like a... It's like a tale of a... Uh, the study of a uh, dragonborn uh, sorcerer who was involved in an underdark war against the drow. Huh. This is a book I wasn't expecting to see. Hey, Bundle! He's help showing Fel more of the curse of writing and... Yeah, he shows you like, uh, one minute, one minute. And Fel will attempt, like, her own, her own like, you know, kind of rudimentary, uh, rudimentary curse of writing. Do I roll anything? Dex check. Dex Maybe check? more slide uh, of hand? Yeah, I... Okay, sleight of hand, yeah. Alright. Thank you, I have proficiency in that. Thanks to Bundle. Thank you, Bundle. You're welcome. For stealing my stuff. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 22. Yeah, you managed to get a few uh, choice symbols down. Like, you get the, the opening salutation down, you get uh, the greeting sort of down. And yeah, it's 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 coming slowly to you, but you're not quite very proud. Like you, see, you, you see a couple of small wobbles here and there, especially when it comes to your crossings and dottings. But otherwise, the smooth overall, when it gets into like the curves of the the curves and lilts of the writing, you're you 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 excel at that. But it's when like the crossings and dottings and slants is when you get into slight little troubles, where it gets a little wobbly and some is a little bit lopsided. Dirk's like, ah, eh, could it be better? Well, I, I did good. I could have done a bit better, but I think I did good. You did, you did perfectly fine. Let me go see what Dad actually was going to speak to me about. I found a book that you might be interested in. Fun oh, fact, I can actually write in... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Bundle can read the Yeah, Dash will show the book to Bundle. Alright, Bundle will look at it. A book on playing Grau. Yeah, written by a dragonborn who... Fought in a underdark war against the drow, apparently. Hmm. Bigger, 
you're the one who wants to be the Dragon Scholar, so this might be useful to you. Yeah, you're probably right. He says as he starts to thumb through it, look, seeing if anything in particular catches his eye about it's anything kind of like, to do with dragons. It, it's very much like a, a war, like recreation, where it has like little uh, symbologies showing like strategy and like the formations. And also, it goes into detail about what like spells and traps he would build in the Underdark and that he found successful. And there is also a brief chapter on his imprisonment and how he was only released due to an error in the uh, imprisoning crystal he was tapped with to where he was able to elementally, he was elementally adept and managed to change the crystal to a different elemental so he could escape. Like it was only brand, it was only slight luck that that he had managed to learn that spell at a young age. Interesting. I'm sure this will be quite the read. No, oh, I'm at it. Well, I mean, as much as I would love to dive further into this, I feel like I need to make sure that Phil gets the studies that she needs. Um, Meanwhile, Fel's just like, stop being wobbly, damn it! Uh, seemed to be the only draconic book in this uh, bookcase, so unless Feliana's room has anything interesting, I'm pretty out of luck at the moment. You're not in Jello! <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Bundle just kind of chuckles and says, well, as much as I would like to, I uh, think I need to get back to her, but why don't you read it? Tell me all about it once you get done. All right. Dash yeah, can all just casually sit down and casually read it since he has nothing else he can really do. All right. I'm used to reading his book with the hippo on the page, thumbing through it. Yeah, it's a uh, a uh, sort of a children's fable about the the hippo that stored all the things he could find inside his mouth and eventually he grew so large in order to have a storage capacity that the other kingdoms found him frightful and terrifying since he had grown so large proportions to they found him threatening but it was only through the uh, intervention of a passing elven prince that the warlords ceased their advance on this charming peaceful hippo Hmm. Sounds almost like Lisa the Frog. And the hippo was the never seen again. He puts the back of the book when he's done, thumbed through to find another one about animals. Alright. Out of curiosity, do we want to expedite this a bit since we're pretty much done in the Veiled Keep? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with keeping Yeah, I'm just doing it. fluff because apparently we're all about that fluff. I never, oh, yeah. I never did read. It's uh, more, more important to have inter um, interrelationship fluff. Yeah. Well, I never, I never did, did read To Kill a Manticore. What is Alec doing right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's Alec. Alec, you here, buddy? Yeah, I'm with you guys. I'm just sitting there listening. So we. I imagine Rania was reading aloud and Tal was sitting there like, oh man, it sounds great. If only I was there to play it along with them. Oh, wait. What? There's not um, much for me to do. Yeah, so I'm um, just sitting here. I'm more of a man of action. Yeah. You don't want to take a book, buddy? Yeah. Ah, I'm good, Bundle. Would you like to participate in any way? I'm just sitting here listening to you guys talk. Rania pulls out a book of uh, the history of root farming. <laughs> root <laughs> farming. Look at the italic. Look at the book. Look at the italic. What language is that book in? It is. It, it's actually a dual language book. It's written in common on one side and Elvish on the other. Mm. Oh, nice. He tosses his talic the book. Here you go, buddy. You're a farmer, right? Question. How does Rania throw the book? Underhand. Grandma style. 
Here you go, Sonny. Yeah, the, the type that should be re relatively easy to catch. Uh, unless you roll a nat one. <laughs> it hits you in your eye and you lose immediately. He catches it. You lost a nat one. That is not my fault. <laughs> And right. the next thing Branya pulls out is The Art of Living Flora by Winona Davis. Davis, eh? You start to read that one. You open it's it up. One of the you open up to a random page. Um. Yeah, to begin with. A literal magic a comes out. A vine pops out of one of the pages <laughs> and just and just holds out little white and pink flowers for you to examine. Ooh! Do, oh, we, no, notice, do we notice this? Oh, yeah. just staring at the freckly eyed. He smelled the flowers. Oh yeah, they smell uh faintly uh poisonous. No, not poisonous. <laughs> just... <laughs> Jesus. Oh yes, faintly corpse like. <laughs> faintly like like wood, like a like a old stale cork. Like hmm, mm. interesting. Mm. He looks over the flowers, tries to read if there's any description on it. Yeah, it just has a little slight description at the bottom detailing like the location and the uh, temperate zone this was located out of, which was a, a moderately uh, tropical swamp. And, uh... He uh, flips over the first page, goes to sit down on uh, one of the orange and starts to read. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah, that's it for that. Alright. I don't think any of us have anything else to do, do we? Yeah. Really. Kind of out of fluff. Yeah, We're all about for now. We need, we need to be out in the road, road for more character development. Yeah. That's anyone wants to talk about. Them, but so. That's the only reason I was wanting to expedite, because I'm personally out of fluff. Cool. Okay, well, uh, we retire to a room then, after reading. Yeah, this soon as Dash's room is ready, he'll probably head to it. Yeah, it takes about 45 minutes from the time uh, Tall Red leaves, but eventually a gnome comes out with a, uh... You just crash. Me? Yeah, your mic died for a second. I was like, oh god, did he crash? I think it just kind of cut out. For yeah, me. after 45 seconds, after about 45 minutes after Tall Red leaves, uh, a gnome comes out with a, uh... A... Large sort of uh, acorn with a piece of wheat strung through it. And it's like, Yarky. Dash will trade, trade that, trade the, that with the room key he had, he had had previously, unless that was already taken care of. And, uh, Rania, about 10 minutes beforehand, uh, another gnome comes out with a, uh, like an apple core for you. Like it's it's sort of like a carved apple core. He sniffs it. Smells like nut like nuts. Okay, cool. Take a little bit. Dash will go try to find his room. Yeah, eventually you head down the hallway and it it's actually one of the first rooms on the left. Like there it is. Like just as you plug it in, please, and you open it up, and there's this this uh tall grass immediately inside this uh, little wavy curtain. Like, it's actually a wall of grass that you literally have to hold the the acorn and wheat in front of you to allow you to pass through to see anything. Otherwise, you would just be passing through the, the grass indefinitely. Okay. And you pop out and there's just a little wind-hewn, like, tall grassy area with a slight, slight lower cutaway and there's like the sounds of light galloping in the distance, and uh, like a bit of mountain thunder somewhere off behind you. Even though looking behind you, there's just more tall grass. That's the entrance, so it's like, oh, huh. Seems about right. <laughs> this is homely. Dash knows nothing but tall grass. Hooray! <laughs> Cute Gary's theme from Pokemon Blue. <laughs> yeah, Dash will, Suddenly, uh, a random gnome steps out of nowhere. <laughs> I actually thought of this thing. Dash goes into the tall grass and just starts to munch on it like Spike from, uh, from Land Before Time. No. Yes. Please. 
<laughs> but yeah, Dash will uh, try to find a comfy spot and test test out how oh, yeah, it there's is. There's like there's like some like folded this. reeds over in a corner that make a fairly good like foldable bed. It's sort of like a folding chair. Like they they fold these reeds fold over into like a like a a, a relaxing chair. You'd see it like a poolside. Okay. And yeah, the the wind has a good ambiance. The uh, thunder isn't too loud and too startling. It's more like just slight rumblings, and it's the the gal. It complements the gam the galloping you hear slightly in the in the ambiance. Here's what Dash will do after settling in and getting comfortable for a bit. He's gonna head to whatever the bathing area is and start trying to commune with his ancestors. Okay. Or, yeah, yeah like, just... for religious purposes. Yeah. You, uh, there's just a small, like, creek, small stream, like, about five yards away from your lawn chair. You just walk over there and just, just relax. It's, like, basically, like, knee depth. And it, if you step in there, otherwise you can just hover over the the, uh, the stream side and just bathe that way, just like cat bath. Yeah. Do I need to roll over the gin check to see what him commuting with his ancestor gets him? Sure. Or ancestors gets him. Or trying to commute at least. Sure. Yeah. Like basically, what he's trying to do is like express how he finally has a solid need into saving their people. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck, all these tens! Yeah, you, you you give it a good shot, you just close your eyes and you, you immerse your head in the stream, like you just you're kneeling over it, you just stick your head in, like, like calmly try and like Whatever well, stresses you, op open up your eyes. There's just like there's some seaweed in your face, like little like reads about. I'm like, oh, oh. yeah, like, just don't get any response really. It's like, hmm, hmm. Maybe I'll try again later. Oh. Yeah, now should just wait until it's food time then. I'll oh, we'll take one last relaxing bath before they have to go tomorrow. Yep. Pretty much what Dash is doing too. <clears throat> yep. Money, money goes through the room. Yeah, you you follow your uh, your apple core to an apple to what the side you recognize as an a crab apple tree, and you just stick it in the knot hole, and the, it opens up to just standard like grassland with a it's like a it's like a grassy hill with a tree at the top of it and there's like little birds swooping and flying around just doing their little chirps and then there's like little mites and insects by the, by the tree bark and underneath it and there's a uh, let me see and there is a pair of ferrets that greet you when you enter like tick, tick, tick. No. Um. I ritual cast speak with animal. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Welcome to your personalized room experience. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Nice to see some uh, some friendly faces here. Mm hmm. Is this where you guys live as well? Yep. Awesome. So I head over to the room then. Uh, with the man the pair Yep, it's just up a slight incline. Like, not a terrible incline, but it's like it's at the top of a hill. And there's like a little stump for a seat. And, uh. And, uh. Just a homemade blanket on the side. It smells of, like, leaves and. And ancient, like cinnamon bark. Ooh, the ancient of cin cinnamon barks. Nice. And saying, cinnamon like, or cinnamon. And there's a nice 
just it looks like the innards of a pillow like it looks like a pillow without a case where there's a, a collection of feathers that just move as one mass for like your pillow if you're if you need that comfort he pokes at it yeah it, it all moves as one mass this big old pile of feathers like you hmm. you move to like pull one and the whole like mass moves like hmm. what time is it right now um, I suppose he's... Uh, Rania lifts up his hands and, uh... Maybe he's the right hand and tries to use a little druid craft to see what time it is. Okay. You know the drill. <laughs> Wait, even for druid craft? Alright. <clears throat> That's not bad. Uh, 16? Uh, or is it a 3? That's a 3. Uh, oh. <laughs> a little moon appears and it explodes. Yeah, it just... Your symbology has like a half moon, half sun, and it just sits there like, loading. Loading. <laughs> loading. <laughs> just with a little beach loading. ball. Loading. Yeah. Loading. Yeah. Loading. Wait a minute. Isn't this place supposed to like? Is this supposed to be all naturey around me? Oh yeah, the Shouldn't way I the get... way it looks around you, it looks like it's uh, it's nighttime when you get to your room. Mm, but uh, it's uh, like, where's the moon in the sky? Like, uh, how it, far along is it? It's a half moon. It's uh, just past midnight. You would assume by the position of it. Mm, we're probably gonna have to get up early. I suppose I won't have time to sew anything. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of time out on the road. Shouldn't have read so much. Oh well. Ah, uh, best go to sleep. He goes over. Sleep. Says good night to the ferrets. Good night, young man. Close his eyes. All right, so bundle and f okay, fell's taking a bath. Bundle and Talik. Bundle gathers up everything that he was do using to teach Fell, and looks at Talik. So, uh, guess we're going to be heading out in the morning, right? Yeah. So maybe get yeah, I'll get the bed up. You feeling kind of antsy? Uh, to be honest with you, I kind of don't like places that which prevent you from speaking your mind freely. But the law of the land, you must, one must abide by. When... Unless you, unless you be part of the land, eh? Mm, that is true. Talik stands up. If I was born in this land, then that'd be a different story. But in my home, back on my farmland. <laughs> When the family argues, the whole land could hear it. I, oddly enough, can relate. And besides, you gotta teach me a bit of sleight of hands at some time in the known future. <laughs> I'm gonna insight that. <laughs> or maybe perception. No, it'll be insight, because we're trying to figure out why do you want to learn that. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, so that way, just in case I could actually slip in a second attack, attack, or be able to sell, or with the set to be able to see a weak point within the enemy. Oh, you, are you just telling me that? Pretty much. Out of character, are you just telling me? Okay. I don't think sleight of hand helps you with additional attacks. They don't. Yeah, well, if it was the, that case, then oh yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah you have to deal with what you're doing with Paladin and Fighter. Like, that's really the only way you're going to get extra attacks. Yeah, Slight of Hand will help with that. you've played D&D before, haven't you? Like, before a time, uh, in... Who you talk to, Rania? You. Me? No, yeah. I never... I know. Well, I only played a little bit of Dungeons Dragons online, but I couldn't stay focused on it too long. 
Yeah, basically I the only learned... way you get more attacks is either if you have a feature like action surge or like fifth level with paladins where you get that second attack action. Oh, uh, yeah. I reminded Talos at bundle. Uh, sometime in the future, can you help me with my perception? Uh, I suppose I could. Just, uh, we'll have to take some time to do it. I would also like to take that class. Cool, but, um, because I want to be able to see a weak spot within my opponent so I can drop him without killing him. I guess that's uh, a valiant a valiant thing to go for. But, whew, he says as he stretches, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a light swim and head to bed. Now, in short terms, a cat nap? <laughs> uh, no, like a cat sleep. But you take it easy. But you take it uh, easy, long ears. He says as he w wakes his way towards his room. Sure thing, bald spot. <laughs> what? Nothing. Dalek walks past him back to his dorm. Bald spot. Now he's, in now he's inspecting himself. <laughs> I believe you do have a bald spot somewhere. I do I have mean that, additional fur. I mean, there was that acid trap. <laughs> what should he roll to see if he has bald spots? Wait a minute, did he grow back all his... Yeah, he did grow back uh, all his... That would be a in. investigation check? Because Talik did try reaching for him to grab hold of him to stop him from charging at the count at the Countessa. Okay, that's 17. <laughs> uh, you find your fur lighter around, like, your... Like... Your knee area and your right leg, but the only bald spot you can really find is probably due to the acid on like the back of your neck where it meets your shoulders. Like there's like a very very thin borderline. Yeah, I can touch like the base flesh here. Well, he's he's gonna be like, mm, that's a, a good reminder. He says as he goes back to his room. I like that I have. It could have been worse, but then I rolled an ancestral protector that what spirit shield that wasn't ass. Oh yeah, little Jim. <laughs> I, I I got big Jim that time. Oh yeah, big Jim. <laughs> I love big Jim. But once he gets to his room, he's going to rather than go, go into a deep dive like he did last time, he gets to the edge of the water, dips his feet in, and kind of lays back onto the grassy area that he's at, and start fidgeting with the same coin he was fidgeting with earlier, and say a light prayer. To his own uh, god, something that he doesn't, he rarely does. And uh, speaking mostly to Reza, the matron god to the back side, rather than the male side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll be it for me. Mm. You yeah. know, there's actually something I want to do for Phil. Yeah, you can go a legend check if you want, but it's not necessary. Okay. Uh... Time for what? religion. What did Fel want to do? Uh, just a small little thing. It's not exactly... It, it's a little bit of fl uh, a fluff, but it's not exactly something really important, so it's not you know, too big to do, but it's also... Yeah. We want to get in contact with a god. Well, not a god. <laughs> Oh, she, if you have the fluff, fluff it up. Yeah, you make that small prayer and you just feel a bit lighter in the heart. I give a slight nod and thinks, well, maybe she'll leave me alone for a little while. At least not test me. Mm -hmm. And goes off to sleep. Ah, now that I think about it, no, that wouldn't make any sense. Man. Nah. <laughs> I mean, after, after just thinking about it, like, what that? No. Yeah, and Talek? He gets back to his room and just takes his armor off, gets down to his, uh, Shorts and just lay within the bed. All right. Don't don't forget to swap the screen back as well. Oh, oh yeah. uh, 
Uh, don't okay, let me forget. No uh, well, we need to uh, get our items back, and I want to see about the gift basket. What would uh, what would Vin Diesel do? Because I want that shampoo if I can. Get a hoagie. That's what he would do. Or the, oh. that conditioner from uh, the, like my dandruff. I got a problem with dandruff. I yeah. think they confirmed we can't take anything. No, they, they, they can give us something. No, I like, think he. I think he confirmed. Unless you pay in services, you can't take anything. Uh, um, I, we confirmed that, like, not even last session, but I think the session before last session. Uh, I think they talk about it? No, yeah, whatever. No. I was into this and for like a Alright, switched back. So. Uh, yeah. You guys get some good rest. You wake up. Your, uh... Your animal friends greet Ryan. You're just sitting in front of your little resting space. Hello. Greetings! Gosh, your, your visit ends today! Awesome. <laughs> Is Gash greeted by any animals? Um, let me roll for that, actually. Please don't eat the animals. No, but I, I swear to fucking god, if it's a manticore. <laughs> yeah. That's not an animal. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's animal-like. That is not... That is not an animal. I promise you. Oh, hmm. Pod had to go. Shit. I know. Uh... You're greeted when you wake by a... <laughs> well then. You're greeted by a white tiger folk who just says, Greetings, your visit ends today. Be sure to check out before the high noon. <laughs> Not an animal. <laughs> That's a person. <laughs> um, Alright. That's for the bundles people, isn't it? Technically? I'm scared to uh, ask, but what am I creating? <laughs> thanks, thanks for that heads up. Mm. Bows disappears into the brushes. <laughs> that was odd. Dash, you could all go ahead and start heading to check out. Jesus grab Christ! Shit, grab a shit and head off. Oh, I'll get up and get ready as well. Yeah, Talik has a bit of a uh, rumbling in his room. <laughs> oh. Okay. Whatever that means. A rooster pecked at his head and then uh, crowed in his ear. Uh, that sounds like the DM has to determine that. Yes. If you say so. There's one thing Talik never had any luck with, and that was with the morning roosters. Cool. All right, so yeah, bundle under on you. Oh wait, no bundle. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he's in his hammock above the water, or he yes, he is in in the hammock above the water. A fish leaps out of the water and lands on you. <laughs> Eats it. He looks down at it. How big is the fish? Yeah, it's about the size of your hand. It says. Greetings, be sure to check out before hang on. But you doesn't have speak with animal. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> he lazily wakes up, looks at this fish, licks his lips. <laughs> Bundle, no! <laughs> <laughs> not, not the tiny, adorable fish! And he's, he looks at it before he does what he's about to do with his way. What did you say? Are you, are you an animal or are you arcane talking to me? I am a service brought to you by Dirk Redrim. How much trouble will I get in if I eat ate you? <laughs> Please don't eat he's me. He's saying this rather sleepily, by the way. <laughs> 
<laughs> How do you answer that? There's just a big old pause as it gives its big fish. It gives a big fishy stare at you. So if you right blink there. one eye at a time, they can't blink. He, oh. he just he just dies and tosses the fish back into the water. <laughs> you pick it up. It feels like gelatin, and it's just like this weird consistent. Like, oh, okay, just toss it in, and there it goes. It disappears into the water. And it I mean disappears. Blood. He thinks for a second and is like, I'm glad I didn't try to eat you. Well, I'm glad <laughs> yeah. I cho- Well, I'm glad I cho- uh, chose one of the modern ones. At least I'm not greeted by... Yeah! <laughs> by ferrets, a fish, and then just a straight-up tiger cat folk. Yeah. I'm glad I chose Geico. <laughs> and Talek loses a, uh, a fight with a rooster, don't forget. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yes. Supposedly, I just, like, that's the story he keeps telling, anyway. Yeah. So that's, where that, so that's where that scar on his profile picture came from. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yep. No, that was from a bandit ambush. Anyway. Of a bunch of crows. You should see this kind of stuff. Rooster. Yeah. Damn, shoot, Rooster. Dash, you can all head to the common area and see if anyone else is there yet. What um, time is it? I think, I think Fell shows up there early. I think yeah. he's just... It, munching on more orange bread. Hard to sleep, Phil. Oh, I slept wonderfully, and I'm just reminded myself that I'm going to have to leave this amazing place. Yeah, I wish I had gone with the uh, with the rustic suit with the custom rustic sooner. I think huh. I slept a lot better than I did in the uh, in room. Oh, that's great. I'm really glad that and that I stuck with. When it's stuck with Libra, it is amazing. Was that too small? <laughs> Suddenly, more wine. Mm. Bread, 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 bread. Yeah, da- da- if there's food, Dash will dig in a bit as well before they have to go. That's the hors d'oeuvres. Um, uh, as Rania, Bundle, and Talik exit oh, wait, out. Oh, wait, I actually don't leave my room yet. Well, what time is. It's mid morning. Okay, mid morning. Uh, uh, we all leaving now, or? Uh, I don't know. Mind. You haven't communicated with any of your partners yet. Yeah. You're still in your room. Mm, all right, fine. I leave the room. Bumble right. leaves the room. Then scratches, scratches back, forgetting that he has mitts on. Then looks at the mitts and like, I'm ready to take you off. Mm. I miss my claws. I wonder how long that breath. <laughs> These last. human mitts. They give you the appearance of actual fingers. Like, what, what is this? Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you never tell us that before. I imagine they're like photorealistic hands. Oh like, god, wow. no. <laughs> oh god. It's like gorilla. It's like a big gorilla hand mitt. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> so weird. Anyway, as soon as you guys make your way out, uh, Dirk pulls out a, the breakfast special, which is which is egg drop soup with roasted honeyed carrots on the side. Mm. <laughs> Jeez. Honey eats without complaint. Nom, 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 nom. Wait, you said roasted what now? Um, I think I'm going to miss the food when we have to go back to rations. Same here. Mm. I mean, it's such amazing food. If you guys want, I can always make us some pretty good food on the go. I have a spell for that now. Perception check, Phil. Hmm. Okay. Just fell. Yep. Just me, I'm guessing. 13. Just okay. Monica. Damn it, no! <laughs> no. Hush. <laughs> no. So as you're finishing up your food and you're like, ah, that was really great. You just uh, sling your pack over and you notice there's a little package off the side of it. Tied up with a neat little bow. Oh. She takes the package and uh, and inspects it. Is there a note or anything? Yeah, on the ribbon it says, for for my best customer. (laughs) You got more wine, didn't you? No, it's a package. it, no, it's package, of course. Okay. It's package plus, with wine in. 
<laughs> and plus, I'm pretty sure that and uh, that Celia would uh, would have been very angry if it was more wine. I think <laughs> she more, might more have killed. <laughs> I think she might have either killed Feliana, Dirk, or both. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's me. <laughs> yeah. will open the package. It's a uh, balsamic apples with mozzarella sprinkling. Oh my god, this is amazing! <laughs> she, she, uh, she, she, she gives like a really big smile, and she, uh, and she packs them up once again for later. <laughs> yep. No, wait, hold up. She takes one and she, eat, and she eats it, and then she packs it up for later. It's squishy. Yay! Please don't eat me! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> It's already done. Munch. <laughs> so yeah, as soon as you guys finish breakfast, Celia appears like, Hello, time to get us all, uh, get you all moving out. I uh, got got that dimension door all ready for you, and, uh, Where, yeah. Where's the head, where's the head, if I may ask? Uh, we're dropping you off at the north end of the fog bank. <laughs> Alright, so we'll be on our own from there. <laughs> unless you, unless you prefer us to drop you off somewhere else, it can only be within about uh, ah, two oh, miles of uh, the keep, though. Oh, oh yes. Well, uh, would would that? Uh, I oh, imagine yeah. our cart's too far away from that. It's on the other yeah. side of the underpass. I was about to ask that. No, no, right. Yeah, yeah mastery, I had mastery, the same mastery, thought. Mastery, 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 mastery. Uh, Lapland, uh, maybe. Uh, no. Only. What do you think? Two miles? Yeah. So yeah, no. It, it basically the best place would be where she suggested. Yeah, if she probably we'd probably get dropped off in the river if we try to go over there. Yeah, I think we would. Yeah, and okay. then we'd have to fight the Hoggins, and I'd have to call down yeah. lightning, and we'd yeah. all die. North of the fog, north of the fog sounds good. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh yeah, got everything you need. Pretty much, as far as I'm aware. Um, uh, aside weapons. from our weapons, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we got that. Uh, they'll be deposited with you as soon as you exit the dimension door. Alright. I assume we follow her lead, then. Yep. yep. I do. Okay. And we go. And wave goodbye to Dirk. <laughs> Always wave goodbye to Dirk. I didn't hear Talik. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. So, yeah, he goodbye, gives, Dirk! Wave goodbye. He gives a very fingery wave. And is just... Then you guys disappear down the uh, arch. And you head... This time in a more... Uh, upstairs -y direction. Where you guys just keep passing various glass... Crystalline glass and uh, bead... Bead art... And eventually you make your way to another arch. This one made of wood, as it seems empty at first. But <clears throat> then she she does a somatic motion involving a spiral. And, the, and there's a light pink energy starts forming and swirling inside the archway. And it eventually makes like little strings start sucking inward into that uh, void of energy. And Celia Wait. looks to you all and says, yes, so uh, the uh, the strings will actually, if you hold on to them as you exit, they will hand you, they will, uh, you will find your equipment at the end of it on your oh. exiting. Alright. Oh, so, nice. Cool. On the nods. You take the strings. Dash will take a string as well. Same uh, here. Second for a string. Second verse, same as the first. Well, the, the strings are sucking inward, are being sucked inward into the door, like they're actually beyond the archway. Okay. Like a like a railing, okay. like a, like they're almost like a, a a very flimsy railing inside of it. Okay. And uh, still, before we'll, before we'll bundle leaves, before bundle leaves, she says, "Uh uh, wait, wait." And mm -hmm. uh, actually, just you, she asks you to hold out your hand. And he does so. And she just gives a light tug, and the the mitts come off, and it's like, mm -hmm. thank oh, you. Oh yeah, has has that breath mint worn off by now? She produces a pepper. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Dashel? No. I assume I should eat this after we've left, right? Preferably. Okay. Dash will hold on to it and eat it after they've gone through the dimension door. Yep. So, you, so as I said, there are like streamers inside the demen, inside the uh, archway, and whoever's going first can go first. Uh, Dash will take point. I'll go next. Yeah, you just go on, grab a streamer, follow it out. It it seems a little like you're inside one of those tunnels from a carnival where it keeps swirling and swirling. You kind of losing your equilibrium for a while. Con check. Oh. No. oh. Con? <laughs> con? Con check? Oh. Just, oh. Check? Hold on. Check or save? Check. From every one of us? Okay, that's good. Yeah, you, you, you manage, like, I am resolute. Oh. I got oh. this. <laughs> that looks not so lucky. <gasps> oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> so the only one who failed, I think, is Talik. Al Talik is trying, it, it goes in right after you, like, I want my stuff. And immediately, like, <laughs> his arms get a little tangled in one of the streamers, like, oh, crap. And then his ears get tangled in themselves, because he's still trying to <laughs> keep his balance. Like, oh, crap, no, no. But eventually he does trippingly make his way out, and you guys pop out in a fog bank. And, and, Talik flops on his and back. attached to the string you follow, Dashkin, is your great sword and your... Did you... No, wait, your javelins were left behind. Yeah, the javelins were left behind as well as the hand axe. All I have left is the great sword <laughs> that needs yeah. to change. Dash again, and I need to pick up more uh, javelins. Yeah, I, I, Dash will actually bring that. You know, as soon as we get back to civilization, I need to hit up a weapon shop. Talik is laying on the ground. Oh, oh, oh. And, and so gets her rapier back. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. You rape your back, bundle pops out, and is like, man, that was exciting. And just finds yeah. a bow and a rapier, and is like, oh, hey, yeah. 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 While Literally. everyone else is Okay. While everyone else is coming out, Dash will pop that pepper in his mouth. Yep. You feel that warm gurgling sensation in your lower, in like right between your neck and your lungs where it's like, ah, there's that familiar reflux. <sighs> can't wait to you can't wait to breathe on whoever gets in our way. Uh. Like that <laughs> <laughs> Did a Dash actually burp from that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Oh, I don't think that hits Sweet anyone, around. anyway. Um, Actually, I, was, I wasn't trying to. It meets mine. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Rania, what? you find a little... Uh, did you deposit anything? Yeah, um, uh, my, uh, uh, my wand, my, uh, dagger, my scimitar, uh, let's see, uh, my, uh, my gray bag of tricks. Yep. Uh, t -t -t my shield... Ronnie has a literal pile waiting for him. Ronnie just walks out and all. I have a lot of. I have a lot of. None of it is very valuable. And, and oh oh no! Out of all of us, Ronnie is that one guy who, when going through a weapons check, drops like fifty fucking weapons. I need. Mean, and, and, and all of a sudden, I didn't take my berries. And all of a sudden, Ronnie. Actually, uh, as you grab your stuff, you pick up the bag of tricks, and there's a purple berry beneath it. <gasps> Wait, what? What? What's going with this one? Ryan, you looks at the berry. It's a nature check to figure out what it is, right? DM? Which one with this one? Did there is an elvish written on the berry for Cody. God damn it! <laughs> uh, he what do you have? Um, what do you have there, Rania? It seems that it seems that the Fae are proving that what I can do is nothing. Would they really put off the fact that there's a berry among his stuff? I mean, it is Rania. To be fair, well, nah. guys, at this point, him being test subject number one. I don't know what this berry is, though. So once Should we? Should we try to figure it out? 
I don't want anyone to eat it because it's the only one. Do do these look like any of the other berries in my stack? This one looks fairly fat, like an avocado. Jesus, wrinkly too, I imagine. Mm. Yeah, like like what? a like halfway between an avocado and a and a big hearty tomato size. What? But check what I have to do to discern what it does without actually damaging it or eating it. That would be a hell of a nature check. A what check? A hell of a nature check. Mm. Hell of a nature check. Mm. Manya scratches his chin. Dang oh god, the dander's back! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's a pile! That's uh, a seven. That looks like a uh, rather unimpressive nature check. So it's like, wow, this thing's huge. And it smells of... Is that perfume? <laughs> Alright, uh, you want to check this thing out for me? Hello? 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 Yeah. Oh, wait, no, actually... Fell oh. or me? Uh, actually, which wait, one well, do you have to... Uh, actually, the uh, 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 bundle has a fairly good with their uh, nature. Yeah, I think it's really good with survival. Not sure about nature. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty I, good with Arcana. I mean, I could try. I have a one in it. You want to try the Arcana berry? I, would an Arcana work? Mmm, be a disadvantage since this is very natural. Mm. I have a I have a plus three in nature. Not including jack of all trades, so oh, that's a plus as four. Mine. No. Well, then you're better than me. You go. Yeah, for that. yeah. Mm -hmm. Have an eyeball at it. Mm -hmm. All right, Bell goes over to take a, uh, to take a look at it. So that will be a nature check. Here we go. Come on, if you fuck me over on this one, rolls. I swear to God. Don't teach us that. <laughs> well, there we go. It's a nine. <laughs> Who perfumes a you know, berry? <laughs> For shits and giggles, Dash will try to take a look. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, there's a way that, uh, there's a way to, uh, <laughs> That's about what I expected. Uh, there's a way for you to type in Jack of All Trades in the in the gear thing over on the... Oh, I know. It's activated. Okay, good. Okay, well... Uh... Best what? we... Hold on, I'm gonna type this in mystery berry. Mystery fruit. It's not a berry. It might be a plum. Mystery fruit. I guess the only way you'll find out is if you take a bite out of it. Mm. And uh, if you mind, I don't think I'll be eating any berries for a while. Ronya looks around at the group. Hmm. If this thing kills me, burn my body. You'll he bites into it. <laughs> okay, then! <laughs> Not even gonna do some arcana checks on that thing. <laughs> That's great. That's death how you glory. make someone die. <laughs> Alright. Like I said, death or glory. He's touching yeah. himself. So what happens with the, uh, with the fruit? Death or glory. He's touching himself. So what, he's eating it? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Well then. Suddenly I explode in the feathers. Hmm. Congrats, you are now an Aarakocra. Wait, what? No. <clears throat> Is that the path I'm going down anyway? You'd be closer to a king, too. Okay. Anyway. So I, so Brett's apparently digging through his stuff. How is it going, guys? What do you think? Uh, well, what do you suspect will happen with me eating this weird ass fruit? I have I no idea. Really had my name on it. Shrub. I I can only assume you were the one meant to eat it. So I assume that too. And I figured, like, eh, I suppose this is a plot hook that Brett had for me. So I might as well munch down. Watch, right. it's probably... Uh, you munch down in just the whole thing, or just the corner of it? I start out by taking a bite out of it, see what happens. Okay. 
skin feels like a bit... it's a sign of freaking avocado. I'm not gonna eat it all at one go. Your your skin feels a little prickly uh, along like the the shoulders and arms, but it's like uh, it yeah. tastes fairly yeah. dense. It's like very mm. like you you're struggling to place the taste mm. of this berry. Like it's very dense with flavor. Like it's mm. like it's such thick fruit that's like it's not right. quite sinewy, it but it's mouth. something to it. I swear to God, if this berry starts screaming. Mm. Well, she takes another bite. I don't know. Tastes interesting. I don't know how to describe it. Is it a mild flavor or? No, it's a dense flavor. Dense. Okay, so it's real heavy. Filling, I guess. Mm. Potent. Do, do we notice anything happening to him as he's eating the fruit? Am nope. I turning purple? No. Okay. Oh, he munches down and just kind of eats. Well, uh, there's no like a seed at the inside of it, is there? Brett. Yeah, there are seeds. Okay. Like thin, He's... like a uh, fung, fungally seeds, like long thin strands of them. How many are in there? Three. Three. Okay. Okay. Da -da. Three mystery fruit seeds. Cool. Do you finish the entire fruit? Yeah, and I save the seeds. Well, this will be interesting. Yeah. Well then, cool. nothing yeah, bad I happened. Guess we should start walking. On your left, uh, late burp. Mm, do we do we know what the closest fort to us from here would be? Mm -hmm. Just for the sake. Can we like make a chip? Do we have a map? Did you ask for one on your way out? God damn nope. it! <laughs> okay. Damn hold, it. On, hold, on, hold on, I got something for this. I actually got a spell for this. Okay, what was the name of the place we're going to again? Red well, Fort? The, so the Red forts? Fort? The forts we need to hit up are Fort, the, Fort Lippy, Fort Chemtree, and Fort Pitt. Which one and are we going maybe to? maybe Fort Marito. Which one are we going to? At the moment, I think our first plan of action should be finding civilization in general, so we can maybe, I don't know, catch a carriage to tread. Maybe are we going to Lupland or are we going Lupland to or Red nope. Are we gonna go to Summerfell? I wouldn't do that. You're gonna cut your ear off. What? Yeah, you cut your ear off. Don't cut uh, your ear off. Sorry, That's my job. Talk, talking to my cousin. Oh. Uh, sorry about the AFK guys. It's okay. It's all good. So you still trying to figure out the berry? No, no, no. I ate the berry. I have no idea what happened. So. Yeah. I might know something that the DM is going to tell me later. Or not tell me, I don't know. You should never eat that berry. I don't care. Moving on. You cloned it. Well, I, I still have the seeds. Should we Should we just start heading a direction until we come across civilization? Actually, you actually, you actually bite into one of the seeds, like, oh, crap, and you try and pull it out, it won't come out of your of your teeth. God damn it! Oh, oh no. Wait, uh, so, uh, so do I only have two of the seeds? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, actually. Uh, what? Uh, what are you trying to do with the seeds? So, one of the seeds is, as I said, it's long and stringy and fungally. It sticks in your mouth like, ah, oh, shit. You try and pull the other seeds, and they won't come loose from the inside of the fruit. What the hell? And actually, neither does that one seed. Okay, this is starting to annoy me. What um, do you do? Bundle. Yeah. I'm gonna need your help here. I say as I'm stringing my bow to my back and putting okay. my rapier back into his holster. But... I got something stuck in my teeth, and I, I have no means of getting it out. I'm gonna need you to 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 whip to whip out the seed, man. I'm... Whip it out of my face. I'm sorry. What? I need you to slide a hand, the seed out of my face. 
Bundle just raises a brow at you. I'm not a dentist. <laughs> Listen, man. If it happened to you, I'd, I, I'd, I'd totally help you out. Don't sleep. You'll probably end up trying yeah, he's to still holding the out. fruit next to his face because he can't even pull it out of the fruit. Uh -oh. oh, God. Help. Oh, no. All right, all right. Hold, hold still. Hold still. I say as I attempt to help him. What do I roll? Talic says, and that's mm -hmm. why I don't trust Matt. Uh, like, what are you investigating? Are you actually taking action? What's going on? I'm slightly annoyed that I didn't even get to roll for this. I want to investigate to see how stuck is he. Uh, investigate? Okay. That thing is really far in his teeth. Like, it's toward the top, near the gum. And it and he opens his mouth, you take a look inside, you can't see where it pops on the other side. Oh god, don't tell me this thing's trying to get out my brain! Hmm. Hold still. I say as I slice open the other side of the, uh, the fruit to see how far dug in his teeth are. Slice so on the other side of the fruit? No. Yes. Using my cat claws, not using a weapon. Mm. So you're just cutting the seed away from the fruit? Yes. Alright. You cut the seed away from the root, and the three seeds attach together and just hang there out of his mouth. What the hell? We're going to die. I'm going to die. Do I have the fruit in my hand now? This is why I don't trust the thing! Or the bits then why did you eat a fruit? <laughs> because I was starting to. Magic evil. Magic what am I then? Alec, you're not helping! Alright, can, can we just try to get the seeds out of his mouth so we can move on? I guess. Uh, can I roll a sleight of hand check to get these out of his mouth? I the swear. That can see I swear to God, if this thing roots into my brain. Straight or disadvantage? Straight. <laughs> wow. I don't even need to roll for this. Okay. <gasps> oh no. So, first pull, your hand slips off the seat like, ah, shit, there's still some fruit, like, slime on it. It's like, ah, shit. You pull again. <laughs> Rania screams like you're trying to yank out his jaw. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? I say as I as I pull back. Like, Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> are, you, are you supposed to eat the seeds? Fel's gonna go over and try, Fel, Fel's gonna go over and try to do a medicine check on this. Like seriously, like okay, what the fuck is going on? Go ahead. I, he just screamed bloody murder. I saw you mother too. My teeth got all tangled up. Jesus Christ! Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to find out like why is he? Oh, wait, can I roll medicine first? I'm sorry. No, well, you yeah. did. So I'm not well, angry. I mean, uh, so no, what, I, yeah, what? I'm sorry. What you see is yeah, it's woven. The, the first seed is woven into his teeth. Like it's it's like a fresh like it pops back into his mouth like if you stick like a piece of floss back there it's just hanging in the back was like tickling his tongue like rrr, rrr. Yeah, but it like, like but the way you look at it the seed like weaves up into his gum and out back and out back and tickling his tongue oh god nah oh. <laughs> Rania don't freak out but that seed is alive it's a lie. It go in. It's going back into your tongue. Okay then. No, no, no. She looks at the others. I have no clue what the hell this is, but apparently it's connecting to him or something. Huh. I mean, as long as it doesn't kill him. <laughs> can you? Can you bite it? I, says, yeah, try, try biting it. No. <laughs> I'm telling you what you can bite. Thing. Okay. Let's get the pay. Right, Radio, try try chewing it. See what happens. Hang on. Let's get the pay. They get know the what this is all about. Let's we get just left! That. Yeah, we did. We did We're that. not going back to the keep. Rania, uh, God damn it. Uh, I'm going to try to use. I think it's even. No. Hmm. They're telling you to crafted. chew it. She's telling you it's stuck. Can I druid craft it out of my mouth? You can try. See that on the check. 
Runya uh, like grips his jaw and he starts to try to good draft, touching himself. That's a 19 and. No oh. guidance. God damn it. Okay, fine. 19. Um. <laughs> I mean, you start trying to druid craft it a little bit, like, come on, come on, get out, get out, and you just feel the other side growing a bit more bulbous and like, like plump, like it's actually growing fruit inside your throat, like, like the actual end of the sea is like actually growing now. It's like, uh oh. Ranya, for the love of the ancestors, just chew. Ranya, attempt to chew. All right, you chew on like the seed that's still hanging outside your throat, outside of your teeth, nang. the two parts. Nang. Nang. All right, it dissolves on your tongue. What the fuck? Hmm. I like it. Yeah. A little sandy, but it's like it's not harsh. <laughs> like tastes like a base. Tastes like eating a seed. Like. Yeah. I try to lick the part that's like currently like trying to wrap around my. Oh, tongue it's thing. gone. The entire thing dissolved. Well, I start like seriously. He opens his mouth and it's gone. It's like, huh? Huh? Okay, can we can we move on now? Again, what the flying hell? Magic is evil. I'm sure what am I? I? Talek, I use magic. Am I evil? No, your magic is good. Talek, I evil. use magic. Am I evil? I just said to Panda, his magic is good. That magic evil. Okay, so I have We're no more. We're making free. general statements. Now let's move. I'm going to make general Yes, let's move. Kiss my cotton tail. Right. Ronnie, you said you had a spell? Rabbit's a racist. Uh, yeah, right. sure. Uh, tell me where we're going first. Mm -hmm. I, I need a name. We don't know. Uh, I think Dash is leaning to Redport. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know. We can always travel back to the three and a half moons. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, three and a half moons. Okay. Ronya just use regarding hands, so what's that do? Ronya concentrates and said, Oh, guiding hand, lead us to the three and a half moon. Cool. Uh, Alright. Uh, are you ask it waits like it's waiting for um one d four do you want the shortest direction or the most do you like i'll remain so places. do you ask it for the safest route the quickest oh, no, route no, no. or the uh safest route <laughs> actually safest. uh I look back at the group safest route or quickest route safest <laughs> Mm, all right, safest. All right, it points you uh, east northeast. I literally have a spiritual GPS system. This is awesome. That's the word. All right, let's start heading that way. Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's start walking hand. How GPS. fast are we going? That's out of character. <laughs> uh, you can go approximately fifteen uh, miles before the sun goes down. Okay, um, if that's the happening, if we're going at a normal pace, I can gather more rations as we keep moving. I have 14 rations I can share with all of you if need be. Um, um I, 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 let's go back. Let's see. Run your wave in hand. Um, I can keep this concentration spell going. Where, oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I got no, no, eight no. days of rations. No, no. Uh, We'll worry about rations the, uh, after today. Does that sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Right. Yeah. Okay, Ronnie. You guys all start moving. Ronnie, you feel a chill down your spine just when that those the the, the tendons of the fruit hit your stomach. Like, a yeah, little chill yeah. down like down like your back, right down into your glutes. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Ronnie hawks and then swallows a loogie. You. Yep. So, uh, survival checks. All of us? Please. Alright. You guys trying to navigate? Yeah. Damn, Talek! <laughs> Jesus! I thought I was trying that toy for a second. God damn it. I forget you're good with wisdom. 
<laughs> and I'm shit at it. Instincts, baby. Instincts. Maybe oh, I should have went like, uh, to you with no Yeah, Phil, uh, you're just you're just kinda wi wigged out by the seat situation. Like that was weird. I guess I'm just following these guys. Yeah, uh, okay, why not? Dash again. Dashkin, Rania, and Bundle, you guys are like, yeah, just follow that direction. Tal looks like a beacon, like, this way! <laughs> that way! Like, all right. Yeah, mm -hmm. once every, like. Does the hand confirm? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure why we're doing uh, survival checks when the hand is there. Because the DM asked us to. Okay. The funny part is, Talix is all tilting in the direction that we have to go. <laughs> Pretty look at Tally, you can see his ears uh, twisting left and right. <laughs> yeah, so about uh, five hours Whoa! pass. You make you make good progress. There's a lot of hills through here. A lot of just thick greenery. Are are they alive with the Whoa. sound of music? Yeah, I was try I'm trying to say, while we're walking, Dash is going to keep an active eye out for anything that might catch our- that might need our attention. Alright. Uh, perception. From all of us? That's a nat 20. I don't think we need it. Nice. Okay. Damn. Uh, nice so... Talek, you're- Talek, you, you're too busy being a beacon. Beep. 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 <laughs> He eternally has a fist pointed up where they're he where you guys are heading, uh, nah. like Superman, and uh, a dash again. You eventually reach the top of a certain hill. Like you take a wee break to take a stretch, and you look around and you look north and you see a figure, just big old furry figure, just traipsing along, um, in the slight opposite direction you were heading, like. Heading west. What does this figure look like? Can I tell what it is? Uh, you know what that net twenty? I'm gonna say that. So you look at it and you're like, I think I've seen that before. Where? And you try to think of the last place you saw a bear walking in chainmail. <gasps> oh, no, 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 or er, I I have his name written down. Where is it? It's in here. I, uh... Oh shit! How long were we in the Yeah, it's Arky. It's Arky. Arky. Does... Arky. Yeah, Dash like waves over. Uh, guys, guys, Arky. 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 Uh, uh, yeah, come uh, here. Uh, Arky. Hey, Papa Bear. Yeah, Dash. <laughs> Dash Arky is about a half mile, mile away from you. Like you're oh. at the top of a hill. He's down in like the valley. Like just, just like uh. Half a click over. Come on, let's go meet up with him. Uh, okay. When you looks at the hand, looks back at the party, looks back at the hand, releases the hand. What you don't you don't want Ms. Arky? Arky is a cool guy. Yeah. God, yeah, lost, yeah, lost I guess my I voice. Again. Yeah, Dash will lead them towards Arky. <laughs> All right. and and as soon as he gets, as soon as we get within shouting distance, Dash will try to call over to Arky. Aren't you the fanboy Talek? Is he the paladin? Dash had a really good fucking arm wrestling match with him. He likes Arky. Alright. I'm a demon. And plus, Arky is like a major role model to uh, Talek. That's why Talek wants to be as good as him. My role model Yeah, you the guys guy. get within shouting distance. Like, hello! And he's like, oh. Hello there. Hello. Hey, Arky. <laughs> Salutations, ah, right. you guys, Hello. you guys been on a journey. Last I heard you were heading, wait, I thought I heard a rumor you guys ended up in Lupland somehow. Uh, yeah, we were yeah, in Lupland was... and, yeah, it, we've had a bit of a journey. For the yes. record, how long that ago did you stuff. hear that rumor? Long time uh, ago. Let me see, that was about two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, what is today? Oh, it's Wednesday. Of? Uh, he mentioned uh, it. It seems like it's been approximately 
two weeks since you disappeared into the Undersider. Okay. Uh, how long has it been for us? Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, okay. That, that's that's okay. so no time shenanigans. So no time shenanigans, okay. Like, two so years? wait, how long has it been since you went into the Undersider? Yeah, for us specifically, how long, how long is it... How... What does it feel like it has it has gone by time wise for us? Uh, wait, are oh. uh, what? Well, are you sure? Yes, I'm. Um, keep a good itinerary. It, time dilation. It, it feels like it's only been four days. Wait, you were in we Loveland. Where'd you go to... after that? The, the underpass. underpass. To the veiled keep. His yeah, eyes, well, he blinks. Blinks again. Oh yeah, that's and, right. Huh. I, I keep yeah. forgetting there. They have those uh, absences and uh, enchantments over the over the place. It's, <laughs> it's cute, actually, but uh, yeah, I guess it can be a bit uh, disconcerting. Uh, yeah. The veiled keep is not a place for a paladin, that's for sure. Oh, uh, nonsense. Nonsense, young one. You must be be able to keep up diplomacy and keep up good relations with even the ones you're un unfamiliar. Uh, uh, that's in uh, a bit truer than you might think. <laughs> yeah, but that place just uh, just makes my fur stand on end. It feels more like they're trying to put me into slavery. Uh, anyway, where, where are you at, Anarchy? Uh, I'm uh, have got myself a bit of a. Uh, a summons from Fort Dreadgrave. All I have to do is pass over the the Doom Valley, and then I'll just uh, have to meet up with uh, Captain Mason. Well, I think we'd offer to join you, but unfortunately, we've got a m mission other otherwhere. Ah, always good to That's be right. always good to stay busy. Idle hands, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I get kind it. of a result of our visit to the Veiled Keep. Yep. We gotta, we oh, gotta you've been impressed in the service? In a matter uh, of sort, Yeah, I'll let Bundo and Beliana explain. Uh, I suppose you can call us emissaries of the Veiled Keep. We're uh, heading. At the moment. Yes, we're we're trying to uh, we're trying to um to head to the. Uh, to the forts more to the south, uh, south to possibly open up, open up relations with uh, with the Fey. Yeah, with Fort Marita also being a request, but the ones to the south were the uh, primary ones they wanted us to hit up. Ah, so they're finally opening up relations with the Souther. Great. They are. Fascinating. Yep. Yeah, and I guess it's also good you guys checking out Fort Marita. We haven't heard from them in a while. It's just they're, they're so far north. Uh, yeah. Off in the literal wilds. Yeah, I don't think we'd probably want to head there yet, because we also want to hit up Redport at some point to uh, get uh, equipped. Missing the... feeling that ache for the city. <laughs> I've got someone I need to look up while we're in Redport. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I tire yeah. of that urban locale. I, I find myself much more at home among the people of the valleys and the foot in the, in the hills. Savannah here, but I've got to find someone named Vaughn. Mm. City for me. Well, well, I wish you best of luck with that. Um, you guys gonna make camp soon? Cause uh, I just want to make sure you guys are safe and all before I continue on my journey. I do have to get to Fort Dreadgrave relatively soon. Uh, yeah, we are trying to head towards. This. You... Go this ahead, Tyler. Um. I actually want to buy some dog cheeses. Mm -hmm. Tyler like wants to roll the insight on uh, Arky to see if he just wants to have company. Oh. Uh, you want to roll insight on him? Okay. Yeah, to figure out if he's wanting company or not. Yeah. Okay. Okay, rolling. Ooh. Yeah, you get you get the run on him that he's glad to see you. He's glad to chat, uh, but he is um, he can't spend the evening with you. He d he will spend like an hour with you, but then he has to continue moving. Yeah, uh, and I, after that, Dash is gonna say, "Yeah, we're trying to head to three and a half moons at the moment to try and get some quicker transportation." Hmm. Yeah, 
there wouldn't be anywhere else closer than three and a half moons, would there? Well, there is technically Fort Nargrums, and then there's a there's a light town up uh, in between Nargrums and uh, the Dank Hollow. Would either of them have transportation services? Transportation services. The fort, definitely, but you'd have to rent at the military rate, which is, heh, well, let's just say they try and milk the coins where they can. Um, the <laughs> that sounds like it's a problem. Take a foot. The, the town, you might be able to hire a wagon, but, yeah, I wouldn't think some, like, expensive, like, taxi service. More like you would hire a wagon, then they'd leave you as soon as you get to your next destination. How easy would the river be to cross uh, to get from this side to three and a half moons? Hoping he's going to roll something like throat. he's going to roll something actually. What? So, yeah, because Dash remembers the tree incident. He doesn't want to repeat. Oh, not the Luplanders! Full hockey. I mean, he'd be willing to try try it again and hopefully not take out a boat. Then all of a sudden, it's the Luplanders come by. <laughs> Damn it, not again! Hello, Dear Marcus, is blessed to go for game! I miss the Luplanders. And then Dash, like, you know, he makes sure that no Luplanders are, are around, in the, around in the lake. And, like, and he uh, places down the tree, and he's like, "Okay, there is nothing that's possibly go gonna hit me." They launch up from beneath the waves, and their boat gets destroyed. <laughs> A submarine <laughs> pops up. Hello there. Just <laughs> 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 to get in a love land. You like to test that? Our new. <laughs> <laughs> no! Dash again, why do you do this? <laughs> I don't know how I keep doing this. <laughs> Alright, so he actually thinks, like, uh, the river? Well, if you wait a day, um, the Lupplander should be passing by eventually. I don't know if the Lupplander right. is the last near their boat. Did they get their boat fixed back up? Oh, yeah, they fixed it up a week ago. Alright. Oh, so. Maybe we should stay near the river then and hope we come across them. Hmm. I would <sighs> prefer if we did go to the three and a half moons that did have a tad better business there. Yeah, the yeah, like I said, there's Fort Nologrums directly north of you. If you just walk if you just walk directly north, uh probably about six more hours you'll reach actually no, hang on. Do 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 Yeah, about nine more hours actually. It'd be late it would be late at night when you reach them. Otherwise, you could continue on tomorrow, and you could reach the the city of Seelan. Ooh. I mean, well, I'm sorry, spell that. The, the town of Seelan. <coughs> I, I think Bundle's doing something real quick. Yay, he's away. <laughs> Found it hiding. And uh, yeah, like you could continue on to the three half moons. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there's the fort to the north and the town of Sealand, and there's the three half moons. Uh, hey, hey, EJ. EJ. I would like to check what the weather is right now. EJ! EJ! I hear a soap opera happening. Should, should we mute bundle for the time being? I, I think we should. Yeah, just maybe. Cool. Alright. Guys, I'm going to need a sec. I have a family issue to take care of. Of course. Go get okay. Hey, uh, okay, guys. call it a night, then? It is one in the morning. Yeah, do we, we want to call Do we want to call it here, Brett? Well, I was hoping you guys could at least make a decision of what you're going to do when you, can't, when you make camp. I would have liked to have made it somewhere. Yeah, da Dash will say stick close to the river and keep heading towards three and a half moons. It feels and like it's been a short session. 
Well, um, I made I po I posted yeah. on. You might want to mute bundle, Brett. I did. Did you? <laughs> God, I, I thought you server muted him, not personally muted. I'll just server for me. I posted a quote in BS. Because honestly, that is me. Mm. Somewhere in my life. AIDS? No. But. BS. Yeah, Dash will say stick close to the river and get as far as we can before needing to set camp. Probably a good idea, me. I want to make it to the three and a half moons. You won't make three afternoons for nightfall. It's uh, currently yeah, like no, late say, afternoon. Which is why I'm saying until we make until we stick close to the river and keep going until we need to make camp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which would land us at about here, I think. Mm-hmm. Could I? Hmm. I wonder if I can make a bridge across the river using flat roads. Ah. Uh, very well. It was good seeing you again, Arky. Don't forget to swap it as well. Yep. Alright, all yeah. good night, guys. Well, so yeah, mm -hmm. the, the crew of adventures is supposedly deciding they're going to make their way to the riverbank and part ways with Argy for now. Maybe we'll have a brief flashback yep. to it at the end, but yeah, they're moving towards the riverside, away from Fort Nalgrams, and towards the Three Thaf Moons, and that'll be the wrap-up of the session. Alright. Okay. All that, guys. Night. Night. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.